You know, you know the rules. You said you're gonna give me one big spank for you to quit vaping. I, I didn't actually buy this, though. So. Okay, I know you didn't buy it. Okay, just wanted to let the guys know. But I will offer you this right now. If you give me the vape right now and you quit, I will take away that spank. Will you do it? I was thinking that's hard. It's so hard to give a vape that works. It's easier to stop when it's just dead. Yeah, it's gotta be right now, though. Okay, deal. Okay. Damn. Chuck, chuck it over. Give it to him. Oh yep. my god. Nice. All right, what do you want to do with go. it? Shove it up your ass. I'm just going to put it in my pocket for now. We are in Fayetteville, Arkansas. Yep. That's how you say it, right? Fayetteville. Yep. Fayetteville. Fayetteville, yeah. Fayetteville, Arkansas. And uh, quite the week. An absolute fucking cranking of Ole Miss. Mm-hmm. Uh, lots of Dallas chicks. Pretty good bar scene. And uh, overall, I think the town campus was pretty nice. Yep. Um, One of my favorites, I'd say. It was yeah. Really nice. But it was fucking freezing. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta say that. Co- coldest yeah. week on the tour. We've I think ever we had. were more prepared though for this week. Then Ole we'll Miss on yeah. Sunday, like or making Saturday. sure you wear triple, triple sweaters, whatever. Yeah. No, isn't it going to be eight degrees? No, Ole Miss on Saturday. Oh, last Saturday yeah. we were yeah. kind of like Ole Miss was, was an oddball though. Twenty was, degrees all week, and then Saturday just went fucking crazy, negative. Yeah, yeah. me and Mac had thin fucking things. That we, we were we were going for style. We over sacrificed style. We yeah. sacrificed. We're looking style. great though. But we still. looked awesome. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, cold, but we bundled up. So it wasn't yeah. that bad, honestly. This I week. felt fine during I the felt tailgate. pretty good. That was yeah. good. Pretty so solid, yeah. yeah, it's getting getting us prepared for Ohio State next week, which yep. if you guys don't know, we're going to Ohio State over UT Austin. And they're playing Michigan, both undefeated. This will be the winner basically moves on to the Natty uh, playoffs. So It's a lock, yeah. I, I'm excited for this week. We got two or potentially three Michigan fans. Who are you going to go for? I mean, I'd rather go for Michigan, but I don't know how if I should rep Michigan at the game. Mm, Why not? What are you thinking? I don't want to get drinks thrown at me and shit. Yeah. I don't know if it's to be that serious. Bro, isn't like, the, you just said it's the biggest it, rivalry it in biggest, college. It's the biggest rivalry in maybe all of sports. It, it could be. There's an argument. Maybe all of sports, but so I don't like, think they're going to be throwing shit at us. I see those videos of TikToks of people getting destroyed with drinks, I whatever. Mean, if they do, corn. I'm fully prepared because I'm not rocking Ohio State when they're playing Michigan. I also have I can't a do it. bright ass yellow hat, so like it's going to be very easily to spot me. Mm, yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. So, I'm definitely going to Ohio State. I will Ohio be repping State. Ohio State as well. So it, potentially, we're, we might be outnumbered in fucking in the boys to Ohio State. So maybe depending, you and Dan can figure out one go for Ohio State, one go for Michigan. Dan, are you going? So Michigan? we can at least do fifty fifty. <laughs> All right, there we go. Uh, okay. th- you three versus me for this game. Let's go. All right, I'm that's excited. gonna be good. I think it will be good though to have guys that. Like aren't fans of us? Like come to Mac and actually like, lay into you. Yeah, I think because I want to see you like, yeah, me. fuck you, yeah, buddy. Dude, you're yeah. gonna get rinsed, bro. I, Ohio I does not hold back, dude. I can't be fake like that, though, man. I have to no. represent the blue. I Mac, want you to be true. Fair. Like Mac I want probably you to take care of himself. If someone wants like, sees me, they're probably trying to fight me easy. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, they'll probably chirp him less than they yes. would you. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm ready. I'm, I'm ready excited. But uh, this week. Uh, started off on Thursday at Big and then headed over to Tin Roof. Yep. Um, Big was a cool bar, kind of uh, a little dead. A little bit. But um, I think we got a good group going there. Some uh, some of the boys came up. We were playing beer pong for a bit, got drinks in. What did you guys think of like the vibe there and that night? I think it was good. Good like set up a little bit, but it was dead. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. But uh, Tin Roof after was a little blurry for me. So if someone remembers that night, I'm maybe be they honest. can explain how Tin Roof was. I'm going to be honest. I got fucking hammered. Like, I was <laughs> buckled. I don't remember much of Tin Roof. I remember getting there, and then a lot of people were giving like giving me drinks. Dan tossed me a Zin midway over the night. Oh. He's like, I think that Zin put you over the top. But I remember leaving the bar, and it was me, Maddie, and Dan. We get to the car, just us three. And right as he started, I remember Dan starts the car, and I'm like, hold up. I open the door and I'm just yakking. Like I, I'm just glad I made it, you know, outside the bar where no one really saw. So just kind of Dan and Maddie were just watching me like huck, huck yak out of the car. But I was pretty bad. I don't remember much of Tin Roof Thursday night. It was bad. Yeah, I was wine drunk going into the night, so I was like, I was pretty good. Are you, I was are you a full bottle good. deep? I was more than a bottle deep. Oh my god! Like, were you going to two? I was. Yeah, bottle I mean, half? like that one that's fucking broken. So we didn't have a bottle opener, and the cork didn't come out easy. So Steph had a great idea to just smash the bottle yep. in half on the con- on the granite. So I could have also <laughs> just drank a little bit of tiny shards of glass, but that's okay. Anything to get a little wine drunk. Uh, chill, dude. Yeah. Wine drunk's good drunk. So it was a great drunk, but the next morning, let me tell you, was fucking terrible. Yeah, dude. You always move slowly though. The first night. 
Yeah, because I think the first time I go like the hardest, like I'm just so excited and I'm like ready to <laughs> You're fucking horny. go. Vibes are so high that yeah. I'm just like, let's have a fucking night, and I'm just like down. And so you, I think the first night is always the worst for me. Yeah, oh, I agree, hundred percent. I can, yeah. yeah. But uh, tin roof, I so me and I remember me and Maddie were just like buzzing around, kind of outside and stuff. But I don't remember honestly much of that night. So. If, and you guys, how are you guys? Were you guys okay? I was pretty good. I was like a little blurry, you know, like we were in the trenches a <laughs> bit, like just in the crowd. And then some guy, he's like, oh, you want a beer? I'm like, yeah, sure. He hands me this fucking big ass tank. beer. It was a tank of a beer. Wait, really? And he's like, yo, pub golf. I'm like, no, I'm not pub, pub golfing this right now. I'm trying to keep a nice, chill, casual night. I literally started to drink some of it. I'm like, dude, I don't want any of this anymore. I put it down on the fucking counter yeah. on, the, on the bar. And then like I was kind of like walked a little bit away. He comes back and gives me the fucking beer. <laughs> and he just kept like making me want to drink and drink. I was just like, tell him no. <laughs> you know, I, I tried to, man. I tried to, but I just kept drinking it. And then <laughs> it got a little blurry after that. Okay. All right, Steph, how about you? I was good. There was one point I was buying a girl a drink. Beast. Next thing I know, after we get the drink, Mac, Mac pops out of nowhere. And he started, I'm like with this girl talking to her. Mac pops out of nowhere and he starts like coming in between. I'm like, Mac, what are you doing? I'm like, and then he goes away for a second. <laughs> And then he comes back like two seconds later, and I didn't realize he didn't say anything at first. But I didn't realize that was a girl he was talking to. Oh <laughs> shit! Wait, so the blonde one? Which yes. One? I shouldn't say that. But what the blonde? One. I was gonna say which one was it? Oh, oh fuck! Tank. The blonde, the blonde one? one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, it, wait, it was just a funny. Wait, were they both I, blonde? Yeah, I did a jersey swap earlier in the night. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Got Sorry, nice with little, the nice little crop top. Yeah. That was pretty sick. Yeah, I, I like that. Ran, randomly, she's like, "Hey, you want to do a jersey swap?" I was like. I looked at her shirt. I'm like, you sure? <laughs> she was like wearing like a little crop top. I didn't realize she had anything on. Like she had like a sports bra on underneath. And I was like, okay, fair enough. Take it off. Put it on. That thing was so tight on me. You look good in it though. Did yeah. I? You're yeah. rocking the nice. Picture turned out well. So, so yeah. sick. Yeah. But it was good. Yeah. Yeah. No, it was funny. So yeah. you were trying to take Max girl? No, I didn't know. Okay. I straight up didn't know. And then I was, like, it, it happened three times. My, Mac walked away like twice and he came back like three times. And I'm like, you know what? Take, <laughs> I would, that was a blurry <laughs> moment for me too. I didn't, don't really remember The one that. thing that I do remember that just came into my head now, uh, because you were talking to that blonde girl while this was happening, is one of the guys fucking yacked on my jacket, dude. Oh. Well, yeah, which like one? Like a little boys, baby yeah. barf, but... It was my jacket was on like the table, like kind of like a uh, bar table. And I was just standing beside it. We were talking and then to someone and then fucking all I see is he's just like laying down. And I have a video of this and I didn't notice it was my jacket at first. Like in the video, I'm just like filming this guy like fucking <laughs> throwing up like or I didn't see him throwing up, but he was just like over the tape, like with his head down. And then the girl I was talking to was like. Yeah, I think he's like throwing up. I was like, oh shit, like he's throwing up. Blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, oh fuck, that's my jacket. Yeah. <laughs> and then I grabbed it and it was like a little fucking baby barf on it, which is pretty disgusting. Was that a big though? No, that was at Tin Roof. At Tin Roof? Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, that was later in the night. It's kind of coming back as we talk about it more. Yeah. But Have, uh, Did you clean the jacket? I think I cleaned it a bit there. Nice. Yeah, I mean, I wore it. Yeah. It's got to be clean. It doesn't smell yeah. at least. Maybe I'll throw it in the wash when I get It was home. looking good. So, yeah. Right. <laughs> Nice. But uh, yeah, that was the Thursday night, and then I think the Friday night was my favorite night. Great night, I agree. Yeah, super I also good think night. Very so. fun night, dude. Shots. That bar is just fucking electric, man. With the ice shots. With the ice shots. Yeah, yeah. it was great like, content. I'm just excited for that. Smashing those men. It just felt smash like weird. Like you couldn't do it. Like like smashing the shots on the ground. You know what I mean? Yeah. It so, felt illegal. Yeah. Actually. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Something that feels legal. <laughs> that like throwing shit at the ground like. And making noise and shit. The, like, the, yeah. the ground's just covered with water and ice shards. Yeah. So dirty, man. Yeah. It was, a, it was really cool. Experience, they were also though. slipping out of my hand so often, dude. <laughs> it was hard to just pick it up off yes. the tray. You yeah, just had to get was. a finger underneath at least. Yeah. yeah. And then you were good. So mm -hmm. for the people that don't know, Shots, the bar itself is a bar that has 180 different shots. And fucking all of them are served in ice glasses. Which is crazy to see because like people are definitely ordering hella shots that night. So it's mm -hmm. crazy that they can even keep up with like the demand. That is a good yeah. When you're just fucking chucking them like when you're done. Bro, we were getting like what? 20 shots at one time and that happened like three times? We, did three, we, we, times? Had, we definitely touched 100 shots that night. Easily. I'm, I'm thinking two, 250. No. no yeah. That's a lot. You Come don't on. think? We got maybe one five tray. of those trays and there was probably like 20 on 25? each. 25? 20 to 30 ish on, on that tray. Oh yeah. Maybe yeah. like well into the 100. 100. Around yeah. 100. 150 ish. Yeah. 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 But uh, 
then we started like smashing them on like our, each other's heads, our heads. <laughs> <laughs> One rule though, don't throw it at the wall. Yeah, dude. Do not throw it at the wall. Someone, but, some girl threw it at the wall for the camera. No, no way. way. Yeah. Oh, shit. I, th- I don't know if someone got it. I'm pretty sure you did. Let's go. Fuck, did someone don't. notice or no? I literally said, don't do it. And she's the did one it? rule that you're not allowed, and she just did it. Fuck. Is <laughs> it your chick? Bro. I think it might have been. Or her friend. I don't remember. Mm. You were into chicks, man. Are the chicks you attract, I fuck with. <laughs> well, fucking <laughs> love it, man. <laughs> she had nice shades, though. Her Gucci shades, fuck. And the jacket. You, I was a pimp for the night. You were a pimp. Yeah, and I think you loved it. You liked that jacket? Yeah, I was wearing it the entire night. Yeah, you fucked it. You looked good. I rolled the bull in it, too. Really? Yep. How'd you like riding the bull? I mean, it was pretty hard. Mm-hmm. I got I went two tries. I got kicked off the first time because I wore my shoes there. Mm. But yeah, nice. it was good. Nice. We were on menace activity that night or what? No, no. Until, Until the end of the night. Till the end. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when we yeah. went to uh, Yeehaw. Yeah, Yeehaw. That's yeah. where Dana was feeding me. A couple fans were giving me drinks. <laughs> One of the fans had thought wanted to kiss me. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, the guy wow. was making love to my ear, man. No, it was funny, it was, it was awesome. No, no was not that time. thing. Remember when he was doing the touching thing? Like he's doing the riz. Oh yeah, the riz. Yeah, thing. just grabbing up your arm and you look down and then he just yeah. lifts you back. You up. liked it? Should I do it to nope. you? Quick, no, just the show. Oh shit! <laughs> and then he'd go weird up. Eye contact, dude. He was close to kissing. Did he actually go up? Like how close was <laughs> he? He did it to like, me too. Like, like, yeah, he did like four times that night. No, no, no. He didn't come in close. He just was like the grab. Yeah, it was cute. I liked it. Yeah, it's very, very sweet. Yeah, yeah. Shaq, uh, Ooh, yeah, boy. our boy Noah Shaq, um, love that guy. He's great for great for the camera. He's, He's awesome, incredible guy for the but camera. But all he loves to do when he goes out, like when you go out drinking, you know, some guys will be like, "Oh, I'm taking it chill for the night, having a couple." He's all in every time he drinks. So like every weekend, he's getting like blitz, like blackout, and he yacked. First of all, he yacked it shots, yeah, shots the first yeah. bar, then we went to the second bar, Yeehog, and then he's like, "Chip, I'm gonna yak." So I take him to the bathroom. There's one stall. And he starts like blowing chunks and he's like heaving. Like it's like, it looks painful, right? It's like bile, like colored bile and shit looks gross. Um, and people in the washroom are like chanting like, yeah, let the demons out, let demons no out. Way. So it's making a ruckus. Like yeah. there's a long line in the bathroom. And then all of a sudden after like two minute and a half, two minutes, there's a banging on the door. And he looks at me. I, I remember this. His eyes are like bloodshot, red, teary up. He's like, Chip, it's happening, man. And I was like, what's up, man? And he's like, I'm about to get kicked out. And I was like, how do you know? He's like... I just know, man. And then he, then we open the door. Huge security guard is like, the fuck are you guys doing in here? And then he's trying to make it seem like we're doing weird shit. And then the whole bathroom goes, whoa, <laughs> like making like a whole joke. I'm like, yo, relax. <laughs> he looks at me and he kind of like gives me like a up and down. And I'm like, yeah, we're just pissing. And then he looks at Shaq. He's like, two bros pissing, man. Nothing wrong with that. And then he grabs him, knows he's like hammered. Starts like really aggressively, aggressively like throwing him out and like pushing him out of people. Like Shaq was literally... He's like, dude, I'm fine. I can, you can walk me out. I'll come with you. He wasn't going against him, talking back, fighting back. And the guy just kept like giving him like shots in the shoulder. And then eventually a couple of Shaq's boys see, and they're like, yo, we can take him. But he's still like being rough as fuck with him. And they, he ends up getting yanked. Dude, it's it was not needed. Like me, Chanch, and you guys uh, saw a couple it. of guys you were standing right, right yeah. at the front. My, my like face, I was facing towards the door because we're waiting for the bull. Yeah. And all of a sudden I just see somebody getting pushed. I'm like, oh shit, that's Shaq. Yeah. And it was just too aggressive. Like, and then I was with you guys saying what was happening. And then after he kicks Shaq out, he comes back in, and we're still near the front. He taps me on the shoulder. He's like, "Are you gonna? What did he say? He, Maddie, you know, he said, what are you no, gonna?'" He said, uh, "Do you the, wanna?" What was it? You also want to misbehave. Oh yeah, do you want to misbehave? You want to join your buddy outside? I'm like, dude, are you kidding me? My buddy's yakking, and I, we literally were listening to you. There was nothing. We were weren't talking back. I could have been way more like we could have been assholes about it and been like, "Yo, like relax and shit." Like we were. Listening, yeah. it looks like he's like try, looking for like beef. Yeah, dude, he was the just power having an ego trip, man. Like, yeah. Some security guards just go on power trips, bro. Don't don't need it at all, man. So just like fuck, fuck off. Man. And yeah. I remember I didn't even respond to him. I think I just like shook my head and just kept talking to you guys. I was like, "What are you talking about, dude?" Dude, Mac, you know who he reminds me of? What the one from? Uptown? What's the one in Waterloo? Yeah. Who? Oh, <laughs> that guy who remember that guy at fucking. Uh, I fucked you over right because yeah, the drink. yeah I at remember. the drink. Yeah, yeah he fucking hated me. I can, what did you do again? I think I yacked in the bathroom. I think he yacked in the sink or some shit I in the did, bathroom. Yeah. I yeah. yacked in the sink. But what did you do? I think you yeah, you did, you know, you were being drunk as fuck. You hit him oh, yeah, as we were walking back to our section. That's it. And then I'm like, oh shit, sorry boss. And then I looked at him and we made direct eye contact. And then <laughs> ever since that moment, he just had absolute beef with me. Like he yeah. would see me. I'd just be sipping on a drink. He'd be like, just like grilling me. And then he'd be like, oh, you want to leave? Like, you want to get kicked out? 
and he kicked me out i think like twice <laughs> that one fucking guy yeah just, i'm sorry dude that was all my fault <laughs> it's all right i'm never going back to the drink but like he for some reason no he not. might you never know eventually well hopefully he's still working there <laughs> hopefully he is hopefully he is i'll be like hey how's it going man <laughs> i think uh, that like, same night you also was the abcd story that was, <laughs> that was yeah, when we tried yeah. going to another bar yeah, and another then bar, and then he then get you didn't get let in he said recite your abcs no, and you're did like, he say backwards though backwards back that is hard bro though. backwards is very hard no i'm pretty sure it was in for, it was forwards was no, it, it forward? was forwards it was forwards yeah you just like because you said a, a b c d e f g h i j k l m o p a b c D. yeah and you repeated you just like started going again dude yeah. and he's like yeah you're you're not coming in yeah <laughs> you like paused too and was like Baby. <laughs> I, no, I just knew in my head. I was like, oh, fuck. I'm not getting in here. <laughs> I wish I saw that. I wish I was bro, like, that, that was, was even so just funny. Bro. That, was, that was a funny story. That, if that was Hub being filmed, King. that'd be fucking jokes. That would be hilarious. Yeah, that was funny. But um, I think we're going to move on to Steph's girl. Yeah. At the third bar night at Tin Roof. Um, so we all left. It wasn't really the vibe Saturday night. Uh, way too fucking packed. Uh, couldn't get a drink, so we decided to take it easy. We got a shit ton of content, mm-hmm. but you were talking to a lovely lady. Yeah, that I met the previous night. Yeah, mm-hmm. and decided to stay. And yeah, then so I picked you up at 4 a.m., so tell me between 9 p.m. or no, 12. 10, 12? 12 we left at 12. 12 and 4, what happened? All right, so it starts off. We end the game. We leave the game. We get food or whatever. She's waiting for me. She leaves her friends. She's waiting at the bar for me. She's calling me constantly. We head there, whatever. We go in. Yeah. She's pretty drunk at this point. Yeah. Then next thing I know, you I hear you guys are leaving, so I decided to stay with her. Of course. And her phone was like already dead, I think, at that point. So I was like, okay, whatever. And then she's get she's hammered. She goes to the bathroom one time. She comes back. This other girl follows her, saying that she pushed her. So next thing you know, this girl ended up working at the bar. Uh. So she literally just said she called her a, a security by the name. This girl needs to, get, needs to leave right now. Oh, shit. Yeah. So right away, kicked out. I was with the Kappa Sig guys, like Mike and yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, them. So I wanted to tell them before, because I knew her phone was dead. So I wasn't just trying to leave her outside. Yeah. yeah. Good guy. And then so I was about to tell them, uh, <laughs> tell the other guys, like, yo, she got kicked out. I'm going to go outside. And then next thing I know, she falls down the stairs as she's getting kicked <laughs> out. Oh. <laughs> like, I didn't see it, but she told me after. And then... I go outside. She's just there sitting. I mean, like, waiting. Because, yeah. obviously, I don't even know what her plan was. No phone. Next thing you know, someone else, some other dude, um, some other dude that she knows, previous altercation, don't know their history, slaps him. <laughs> she just, she just clocks him. What the so fuck? She was just on menace activity. So, how hard? Like, it was like she fucking laid into the slap. Like, it was a slap, but, like, just not needed. Mm-hmm. Um, I also don't know what happened. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. so, that was just trying to break it up at that point. <laughs> uh, Mike offered a solution Go to Kappa Sig Literally like A minute down the walk I want to smoke at this point So okay. I was like Fuck it let's go Okay So she comes with us Still a little hammered At that point I just called her An Uber home uh, Sweet guy man Solid guy sweet. Yeah You took care of her Yep, I was your guardian angel for the night. Guardian wow, angel. guardian angel. I'm going to start <laughs> using that whenever I'm hammered. Mac, be my guardian angel, please. There you Guard, care guardian me. angel of the night. Guardian angel of the night. I like that word. Guardian you angel. So you didn't close? Nope. Well, no. Oh, well, yeah, I mean, no. I just, yeah. I, I'd fucking hope not after yeah. that. All that happened. Fuck. Yeah. She kind of sounds like you when you're drunk, though. Yeah. <laughs> like when you're Slight menace? Out. Yeah. I have you guys to take care of me, though. Guardian so angels. Sometimes. Yeah, exactly. Oh. Yeah, so you're just passing on the deed, paying it forward. Yeah. Nice. Saving it for next week. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of Kappa Sig, though, that was one of the houses that we toured. Mm-hmm. Um, and overall, dude, the houses here, huge. Massive. Sororities, man. especially. Palaces. Tried out had a fucking Apparently, palace. Apparently, though, Kappa, Kappa Gamma is the biggest house in the country. Really? It's bigger than Tried out. Here. Where did we see it? We passed it. Apparently, it's very deceiving from the front because it doesn't look as big, but it just is really, really deep. And it just goes. And it just goes. It's like it's like Kappa Six House where it's like it's very narrow and it just goes deep. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. but yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was talking to somebody and they said Kappa's the biggest, even though Tried Out looks the biggest. Oh, Tried Out, I thought looks was huge. Fucking yeah, would, uh, too big actually. Like, I, like there's no way that's that's a sorority. Well, I mean. Apparently, this is, they also have the biggest chapter too. I think for Tridel as well. Oh, okay. And these are some of the biggest we've seen because it's like 350 
members in the frat, which is pretty crazy. That is a lot. When they were saying yeah. numbers, I was like, that's a lot. Because yeah. mm-hmm. Kyo got started here. I think Kappa Sigma started here. There's a lot of history between those two uh, fraternity and sororities. So, Damn. Damn. Kappa Sig, apparently, there was like a tunnel that go, goes from like their house to... Kayo to Kayo, yeah. I didn't see this and then, tunnel, did and you? then to the steps apparently where that that uh, Coliseum looks, fan steps are, yeah, whatever. Shit, yeah, yeah. We did, we saw just like the tunnel. We saw bricks, but so it was like covered up. But apparently, Kayo's house has like an actual door. Mm-hmm. Oh, that leads there. Like it's not covered up. It's got to be locked. But is like, this like yeah. a rumor? Is this like, no? We saw no, it. It's no, we saw yeah. it. Oh shit! Yeah, but like, it's kind of weird what we saw. We saw like a double wall. Like we didn't see no tunnel. Yeah, we just saw a bricked up wall. So mm-hmm. it could be just like a it could be a, bullshit. Like a, a rumor story. or something. Well, yeah. that, it's an old house though. It's from like the 1930s. I don't so doubt it though. I could see. I could 100 percent see it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it looks really old. But uh, Pike's house was sick too. Like so super nice. modern. I like Pike's a lot. Yeah, one too. of the most unique houses I think we've ever seen. Yeah. So mm-hmm. sick, dude. Yeah, I liked Pike's a lot. Definitely the most modern frat house we've ever and seen. And they had e- a massive uh, courtyard or parking lot that they turned into their party area. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I like the layout of their like fraternity house. It was really unique, but it was kind of cool how their like indoor party room had that like tunnel that you go through and I can just see like yeah, yeah, yeah the yeah, bridge yeah. and then I can just see nights where that thing is just like packed but I feel like that brings a lot of character. You know what I mean? Like that would be it's sick like a to small see. small thing that like makes a big difference I feel Yes. Like. And like that room is like known as like that's the room. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like I like that. It's a really good space too. Like, so nice. And space. the rooftop. So good. And the rooftop the, is really cool. The diet table. N- nice nastiest diet table I've ever seen. Mm-hmm. $2,000 for that diet table. Bro, it like lights crazy. up and shit. Yeah. It is. Apparently. Yeah. They, I don't know if they, did they, anyone go up to the top when it was dark out? No. Uh, no. We were all downstairs. After we left, die, yeah. I never went back up. Yeah. 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 Speaking of our die game, dude, in that tailgate, fuck. Pretty crazy. You lost the jacket. I lost my jacket. Did you get yeah. to give it up? Yeah. I, t- I told him I'll drop it off after the podcast. And you, oh, shit. Good guy move, though. Like, I don't want to, like, man, I mean, man, bet is a bet. Though. Yeah. Yeah. Man, yeah. We did, so we bet his jacket. So he originally asked jersey. for my jacket, yeah. and I was like, I don't want to just bet this with, like, Nothing else to get. Exactly. And then change. I think you said it, right? It's like, Take his better jersey. jersey. Yeah. yeah. I was like, I was so down. It was a nice jersey, too, man. What was yep. the jersey? It was a number four Razorbacks basketball jersey. Yeah, oh, that's hard. Red or white? Uh, white. 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 That's hard. So clean, man. Yeah. yeah. That was clean. That would have been a nice jersey to get. It was. I thought I was going to get it. <laughs> yeah, we were fucking doing so good, bro. It was 9 5. We thought we honestly had it. And Li- then. Yeah. I literally was like, I'm getting a fucking jersey. <laughs> And then they slowly came back. I think it was like then like 10 8. And then they got, uh, I think they tied it up like 10 10. And then went up to what, 12 10. We kind of just choked at the end. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. I think like once they got to like 9 or 10 10, then it was like, fuck. Yeah. I it was, was getting like, nervous. Yeah. Everyone was watching and shit at Massive that point. Crowd. Everyone on the oh, roof was. It packed in out the, the roof, game. man. Yeah. And oh, they were tossing. They were good. So many people walking through the door every fucking two seconds. Yeah. Was not the best in the house, that guy? Apparently, yeah, yeah, we played the best guy in the house, mm. and we took him to o- OT, basically, but fuck, we had that. A couple tough catches, man. It was cold out, but mm-hmm. obviously Literally, every ways. every time you go for a catch, you're blowing in your hands. Yeah. Damn. But, uh, it was cool. It would have been nicer to win, especially yeah. when it goes to, like, win by two. Yeah. yeah. We had cool. a chance for, like, redemption, which was good, but didn't get it. Fuck. We couldn't close. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, overall, it was fucking good. That was a good yeah. game. Everyone was watching up there. It was yeah. fucking... It was a vibe, it was a It was a good game. Yeah. My heart was actually like... I was like... It was, I was nervous. Yeah, I could I could see. I could. I would get nervous once they like tie it up. Then yeah. I'm like, oh, fuck. Now I... That's kind of... Yeah, how we... Especially feel. when you have on the ropes too. And it's like... Die is also... Die is also, I feel like a big momentum game. Like if you come back, you're, you're feeling confident on defense, the catches, and then... On the vice versa side, like your guys' side, now the throws aren't hitting the table. You're in yes. your head. You're like, oh that my god. That was the one thing when we like when tossing when we were up, it was so easy. But the catching when we were tied, it's like holy shit. If I don't catch, make this, a break. Yeah, yeah. Lose. Like, I bobbled yeah. the last one, dude, like three times and fucking dropped. And I was that's like, like oh in your head. God. Your defense is usually head. really good too. Like yeah. you have really good hands. Yeah, it was I like w- the nervousness the got to me at the end. Fuck. For the game, I had to just watch one side change. Literally, was covering two sides. Yeah, well, like yeah, long yeah. range. There and there, yeah. he's got he's got the long arms. Got the no, I know it made sense. It's hard yeah. not to like, yeah. Once you're like tracking it, like you're yeah, not you're like goal, you're, you're going not, for it. You yeah. don't want to be like that guy that like lets your partner get it, and then both of you aren't looking going yeah. to get it. Yeah, there was a couple of times we like almost like smashed hands. Yeah, like we <laughs> it was like this. We yeah. caught it. 
but uh, it was it was a fun game. I love die games that go to like the so 10, good, nice intense games. games. I think a good twos. die game is like one of the best. Dude, we just never play game. die, which sucks though. I know. Like I miss I miss playing die. Yeah, die so fun. It's also like the bounces, dude. Just sometimes it just doesn't go your way. Like yeah. we had the bounces Straight like working up. for us. We hit I hit the can mm-hmm. once. He almost hit the can another time, and then fucking that like end it was just like it was, we were hitting it up. just wasn't bounce like bounces weren't going our way like, yeah. right in their hands easy catches yeah that happens yeah so um yeah that's one game but uh, the other game was versus Ole Miss mm-hmm. how was that <laughs> dude Ole Miss transition. was not fucking it man it was never the Rebs Mac it Bro, was it, never the Rebs I, I wanted it to be the Rebs from the start of the season they got fucking they got, torqued that is the they could, they ship pumped them destroyed them it wasn't even close I could have found money line, baby. That was always that was a lock. lock. I don't understand lock. how they beat them that bad, though, because like statistics say that Ole Miss should have won that game. Why? Because they, they ran 400 yards on them, and they had more passing yards, I'm pretty sure, and for somehow they didn't win. So they just weren't capitalizing. They were not capitalizing. They just kept getting field goals. Fumbled? Their field goal kicker missed a field goal. Mm. Pretty fucking easy one. Well, they also like not came back, but they got three touchdowns at the end to make it like a closer game. Wait, yeah. what was the final score? 42 to 27, I believe. The oh, shit. Game. Yeah, they got like three touchdowns yeah. back to back to back. They, they came back a bit, but like everyone, the game was over. Yeah, it was over. Halftime. Like it was just like, it was 35 to, to like, six, I think, at half. Yeah. Bro, even fucking, so we were... We left at half, or not, didn't leave, but went to where you guys were in the club area at half, and then we were ready to leave, but the second half, the third quarter was starting, and literally in like five minutes, Arkansas got, I just hear, Arkansas touchdown, like two minutes later, Arkansas yeah. touchdown. Yes, that, I was like, what the fuck is going on right now? Yeah. I screwed one of my bets because I had the, the three, three straight, straight scores, scores, man. I thought, that, I thought that was no. a lot too. <laughs> Damn. I got Maddie to bet that too. Lost him some money. <laughs> I, I honestly thought that was a lock because I thought it was be a very tight, like low scoring game. I had the under. I had the under. They're gonna run both, and it just didn't didn't work out that way. It was a fucking. They were firing points, and I was so scared because the Arkansas money line. I was like, yes, this is gonna work. I thought the under was gonna hit, and I was like, they just kept scoring. I was like, yo, stop scoring. Just all take Arkansas money line and mm-hmm. under and the under. So I lost. <laughs> Fuck man. I went completely opposite. You went Ole Miss. Ole Miss spread. Fuck. Oh, that's on the tough. spread, man. And, and I took the three straight scores. Damn. Fuck. So we like none... we said, it's so much easier to just vote. Like so much better to vote the team that we go to. It we does, do. but like when you like you like that team so much, you just want to root for them. You know? Where did that. your love from Ole Miss come from? Like I just I curious. think it's because like it's the caramel colors. I think it reminds me of high school because okay. we had like we have the identical uniforms to them. Yeah. Identical and identical colors, and I just something about it, man. I just like that school. So the so the jerseys. Oh, he's repping it, dude. Oh, repping you it fucking right douchebag! Tell me you <laughs> purposely. Okay. I'm repping it right now. Was that irony or did, like was that ironic? Or I honestly just, just like the shirt. It's pretty comfortable. Yeah, and I was nice. just like, you know what? Fuck good. it. Nice. Yeah, that's why. Yeah. Damn. Fucking, we gotta stop betting the over unders, dude. Parlay. I stop betting the over and unders. I don't I hate touching that. But really? It makes you yeah. more money. That's why you want to do it. Yeah, I yeah. always do it. Like, if oh, you yeah. hit, there's no way they're touching 67 points. Gets fucking 70 <laughs> something. <laughs> man. You just never know. Like yeah. the last couple of weeks, it's fucked me on the parlays. Yeah, it has. Like, the, the spread or the money line hits, and then it's the fucking over or under that doesn't hit. That like, did fuck me damn. the past two as yeah, well. Yeah, dude. Seriously. And we also had better odds with the Arkansas money line. We should just hammered that. Like just Arkansas. Just, like Arkansas, just Arkansas. It was. Money line? They were underdogs. Or make like a single. We had no bet. reason to fucking parlay it with the over under. <laughs> you would have made more money. It's, no the reason. Parlays are so nice when you hit them though. They never fucking hit, dude. That, that they they hit do for hit. Me and, and CU Boulder. I did the, I did two parlays. One for the under and one for the over. Oh, dude, CU Boulder. We Wait, did for all of us was the most money we yeah, ever that's made. What happened. You can't do that shit. Yeah, but the thing is, the odds were so good, and we were at CU Boulder, and I won a thousand dollars that night that day. Wait, what'd you do? What I feel like that you literally just offset yourself. No, because the odds, like, they were not supposed to win the game. Pants. They were heavily... <laughs> <laughs> no, I just what shit. the fuck? I just, that might have been one of the longest parts I've ever fucked. I did not hear <laughs> I that. I literally bit. just shit my pants. I didn't hear it, though. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh, shit. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yo, I just I li- I didn't think anyone heard, and I looked I over at Dan it. and Matty. I didn't hear the headphones at least. <laughs> yeah. Like the odd, like they were heavily not like the underdog in that game. I know, but if you if you do see you Boulder, like money line, just that. No, I did with the over one with the under, and then I did it one with the over. Yeah, so those two odds just cancel each other out. No, because the the money line odds are like plus. 500. Yeah, so if you did $1,000 on just the CU Boulder money No, I did line, $100 on it. Yeah, it, if you just did that, that would have gave you what? Like four something, five something? No, I parlayed it, I'm saying, with the under. 
I know. I'm saying if you just did the CU Boulder money line, what was the odds? Like plus 400, let's say. Something around there. Yeah. So you would have got like $400. So if you did a hundred dollars, well, you would have had to increase. Did it increase it by like. To whatever, plus 900 or something. Yeah. It adds quite a bit to parlays. That's, that's fucking weird. That's why. Yeah. It looked good. So I was like, fuck it. I don't know. It doesn't really make sense. We also stormed that field. Like that's how heavily un- they were underdogs. Well, it's the first one of the season. That's right. I mean, only when you said right. I don't know if they. I don't know if they won again. I haven't checked. I like, don't know. No, I don't think they have. Really? I think we are the only win of the season. We are we, lucky. We brought the vibes. Pretty right? sure their schedule after that Actually, was really hard they, too. Dude, they still had like Oregon, they, USC. Yeah, I'm I pretty think. sure. Like, yeah, you're right. Schedule. Utah, Utah, I think was another Utah one. Utah as well. Yeah, like, I don't think they. Yeah, won they either. haven't won. Yeah, we're just a good luck. Chart. What are, what's our record? Ten two. We're uh, nine and three. So hot. <laughs> but like realistically it should have been like Auburn should have won. Yeah. Ole Miss should have fucking won. Ole Miss definitely should have fucking won. That's bullshit. But whatever. Yeah. That's yeah. Ole Miss first band game would have been nice. So yeah. W. But um KSI, Dylan Danis. Yeah. New fight, January. Crazy. Crazy. It started off did was this always gonna happen or did it start off after that thing? The fight thing? Mm-hmm. I think that was honestly planned. I think it was planned? Yeah. What the face off like, they had just together? To bring, just yeah, to bring like some they hype. fucking beef, and then next day they yeah. announce a fight. Yeah, that is a little weird. It makes sense to like build up some hype to it. Yeah, but. yeah but I looked way pissed though, and he got water tossed in him. Oh yeah, maybe that wasn't planned. I'm sure Dana's fucking just did that randomly. Yeah, but like definitely just like being in the same room and like starting beef and shit. Yeah, because like how would he have even known to be there? Yeah, I don't know. But the one thing that was fucked was Anthony Taylor going and just absolutely. Clocking. snuffing Dennis in the face like yeah. he almost dropped did he you guys watch the video? Yeah, yeah. I did show the video I saw him he, like run after him and shit yeah, yeah. That was, he was fucking mad dude isn't he on Jake Paul's team? that's what who? I thought too that's Anthony what I thought. Taylor it's like that small like, jack black because that's the guy who didn't he that's the one who fought Tommy Fury right? yeah yes. yeah, yeah. yeah yeah so that's what I thought and then like, he was his sparring partner yeah. before that fight that yeah. he did really weird that but was I, weird but also Jake doesn't like Dennis so I feel you know what I mean? Like, but why I, would Jake's team be there? I don't know. Yeah. I actually unless, don't know. Unless he's helping KSI, like, just, like, as a sparring partner now. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I don't know. Wherever the bag is, that's where Anthony Taylor is. He's just hopping around. Also, oh, just, the, like, like, YouTube boxing or whatever. <laughs> what was That was for YouTube boxing, right? <laughs> what? What was that event that was Misfits, going on? It was Misfits Boxing 3. Yeah, so, which like, was... just a part of the boxing event, kind of. Mm-hmm. Maybe. Yeah, yeah maybe know. it was just there. But, um, yeah, that was fucked. He, like, went out after and was just, like, in Dennis's ear from behind and then pushed one of the his, I guess, Dennis's friends held on or, like, told him to, like, get back to Taylor. He pushed him. And then, um, and then, fuck, what happened? Do you guys remember the video? For which? Like, slightly. But, like, it was tough. Which, when they were outside? It was yeah. just, like, a scrum. Bro, then they're, like, boys, their scrum. boys started getting it. Anthony Taylor had some guys with him. Yeah, one of they were starting going to go after Dennis, his friends yeah. and shit. Yeah, one of the guys got pushed from behind. I think on the ground, started bleeding. His friend went and like went for a punch against Anthony Taylor, and then he went around. Anthony Taylor went around, and his Dennis's friend was in front of Dennis, but his fucking shot got behind him, and he like caught him nice on the jaw, and yeah. he stumbled back all the way to like into a car. Oh, shit. Damn. So he yeah. got clocked. He got clocked. Fucked. I also hate Dylan Dennis. I fucking hate him. I hate Dennis too, but I think it's too much because like he was like he didn't want it and he was trying to walk away at mm. that point. It's like I don't know. He just kept chasing him. You know what I mean? Like why oh. was he there though? That's what I don't get. This guy's like been gone for two years. I swear we haven't like t- nobody's talked about him. I don't Who, know. Dennis? Yeah. yeah. Did it start I said, with just Jake spawned Ball? Back, bro. Like, it's like, definitely like, to promote this fight with KSI. It I makes guess, more yeah. sense now. It's still though, bring up the hype. Mm-hmm. But what was the original beef? Was it between Jake Paul and Dennis? Yeah. Oh. Well, initially I think it was like Logan Paul. Because Logan was initially... Remember they were, like, taught, they were on, in a truck and tossing eggs and shit? Wasn't that it? Yeah, that was when Jake was, like, looking for his next opponent and mm-hmm. stuff. I kind of want to see... This, this is going to be a good fight, though. I, I don't... So I've never seen Dennis, but apparently he's fucking... I think he's a little too much talk, but apparently he's, like, okay. He's part of McGregor's team. Bro, he's ugly as fuck. Right. Yeah. I think he's one of the ugliest. Just come fuck. at him for his looks. No, he, he was dating Sav Monta- Montano. Okay. That's an all-time pull. Like, but it's just like the same how's thing as Pete that? Davidson. Dude, how's he pulling that? Man? Maybe he's funny. Maybe he's got a big dick. We don't know. I don't know, but <laughs> we'll he's see. fucking ugly shit. Yeah, he's, he's, maybe he's maybe he's funny. Ugly. Maybe he's funny. I, I fucking oh, he's got to be really funny. Man. I don't think so. Yeah, he's, he's got to be really funny. You know, I don't he's, know how he pulled. Or maybe he's just really nice. 
He could be really not, nice, he's Max. Really, he's really nice. Not nice. You think he's a nice guy? No. I think he's a D-bag. Yeah. He's a fucking loser. I yeah, I hate him. He does seem like a D-bag, I will say that. I'm not going to lie. I'm not like huge on... K- I, I, I respect KSI. I hope he clocks the shit out of Danis. Same. I want, I want him to piss on Danis. I like call KSI. Him ugly after. Hey, Dylan, wow. I want him to knock him out. Yeah. I think this would be actually a good fight, though. I don't think people... I don't think anyone can predict like who's going to win. I don't know. It's close. Like it's, it's not hard an easy favorite because we haven't really seen. Well, we haven't seen Dan. Yeah, at all. exactly. And KSI's mid as fuck. <laughs> he also hasn't fought <laughs> anybody, sure. so yeah, yeah. But yeah, you, but he's been boxing for like how many months? Like who, probably, KSI? Yeah, yeah. I think he's constantly boxing. I mean, he's been. His last fight was end of August. Now this is going to be a mid-January fight. A literally like eight weeks till the fight. Is Danis has he been training? I don't know. Danis has is and was a Bellator like UFC a Bellator MMA fighter. Mm-hmm. So like, but both of his wins I saw were by submission. So like he's not and he's known to be a wrestler. Yeah, he's a like wrestler. A I'm pretty sure. Yeah, not like Striker, a stand-up. stand-up. But yeah. because he's been in this like YouTube boxing kind of conversation for the past two to three years, like who knows training. he could have been training for like two to three years. Oh, and he just comes out and he fucking is he just could nasty. come out and just been waiting for his chance, or you know, he's I, an absolute idiot and didn't do any training and he gets embarrassed. I feel KSI. like he's yeah. one of the guys that we haven't seen yet, like one of uh, the younger MMA fighters that you know what I mean is going to be joining the YouTube boxing. I feel mm-hmm. like this is one shot though, like prove it really though. He needs if, oh yeah, if he comes out and loses this, it's like. Why am I gonna fight Dennis now? That's true. Like, what's the point of fighting him? I can see him being though like a fucking d bag that thinks he's so good that he just didn't train at all over the past two to three years, and now he's just yeah. gonna like, kind of start. Bro, he was asked. Get lit up. I saw an interview today, and he was asked, "How? What are your thoughts about fighting KSI?" He literally said, "This guy's a fucking YouTuber. He's not a fighter. Like, I'm not worried. Like, he. I feel like he's so cocky that he's doing just enough to get by, but he's not actually like KSI. You know, is every day." Twice a day, three times a day, running like he's training everything in his power to win this fight because he knows he needs to if he wants to be at the top of YouTube boxing. Whereas Danis, like, he thinks he's that guy, so he's like, oh, I can mm-hmm. just wash a YouTuber. You know That's what I mean? So embarrassing, dude. If he loses, bro. If Danis loses, I da- thank God. Bro. To be honest, Danis should have an easy win here. You think For so? Sh- like, bro, if he if he was serious about this, like, bro. he should have an easy win given his background and given him being just like in the conversation of potentially fighting someone for the past three years. Yeah. Like sure. if you, he, he potentially could have fought Jake, potentially could have fought Logan. Like if you're not training, like Keeping before up. those fights even get announced, like you're an idiot. Yeah. So, you so know, when the lines open up, who are you putting your money on? I'm going, I'm going KSI just cause I hate Dennis. I'm going KSI. KSI. I think just for my passion of how ugly Dennis is when <laughs> KSI knock out. I think I'm gonna go KSI as well, Let's but go. I think maybe by decision, not by knockout. That's fair. That's fair. I fuck with that. Yeah, okay. I want him to do it by knockout. It would be oh, nice. I by would knockout. love to see him piss on him. It would be nice, but we'll also see. KSI is like I don't know if he can win by decision. I think he needs to win by knockout. He's just an not absolute tec- wild. He's not man. a technical fighter, right? Like he's by points yeah. wise and shit. Yeah. Yeah, oh, he's shit. just like haymakers. But can, I don't yeah, know. Does true. he have that knockout power? Like, yeah, is he knockout? a lot of people say he was like a pretty hard puncher. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. What was it, Logan? Said he's probably the one of the hardest punches ever. No. Not like that he's fought at me. Yeah. Fuck. I don't know. I think this is also going to be a nice build up to Jake if KSI can win. It's yeah. I think it's great. Yeah. It's yeah. If KSI wins, that's hands down like a top best best person he's fought. Mm-hmm. And it's like a statement compared to the last fight where he fought like two. I don't even know what those guys were. Yeah. But yeah, the he if he wins this, that's that's really impressive. It seems like he's making like a big jump because he wants to like get prove, to Jake's level. Prove himself. And yeah. even after Misfits 2, when he fought those two professional boxers, whoever they were, he got um like the rapper and the professional boxer, he was still getting backlash because it was like those guys they sucked. sucked so he won, he might have he won both easily, but people still were like, That's not impressive. So I think he saw that one's like, I need to make a splash if I even want to be in the combo with Jake because Dude, even KSI's fans have been stroking Jake off. It's like, dude, he's fighting more impressive guys than you are. So yeah, I think he's, he's making he just, a name. You could also just tell the way like you see the person fight in the ring. Yeah. Like, whether they're like good or yeah, not. Yeah, just their movement and shit. Yeah. Yeah, the, Footwork, whatever. Yeah, exactly. But uh, speaking of fucking boxers that suck, dude, Chase Damore, man. Dude. That guy should not fucking that, step fu- foot I in a ring again. I knew it was going to be like this after that last fight. Like I heard he was fighting. I'm like, why is he fighting? He had a terrible fight. It looked like he had, n- like he has a good body. He's built, whatever, jacked. But he- good looking dude. No, no. Nah, you don't not. think he's a good looking guy? No, he's tall. That's what he's got. I mean, is he like not on quality. a Love Island show? He was on. Too hot to handle. Yeah. Yeah. Too hot to handle. Yeah. 
Those some people are hot. There are some ugly people. Too hot show. to handle. <laughs> it's like more so. It's more of like I too know. much of a whore to handle. That's what the show could be, should be called. <laughs> yeah, they're definitely all whores. But that's like every like uh, any like like fucking Love the, Island the and reality shit. Shows. Yeah, well, any reality they're, they're shows for like all, the cloud and shit. Though. That's all they yeah. care about. They're yeah. all whores. You need characters. Yeah, and yeah whores are characters. That's, that's, they are, that's yeah. fair. Yeah. So yeah, but so that misfits fight um, had some good fights on there uh temper king kenny and then chase the guy that chase fought looked pretty good solid yeah. dude yeah he i'm was, surprised they're in like the same class together he had to move up in weight class to to get into heavyweight and still i'm pretty sure chase at least had 20 30 maybe 40 he, pounds he on looked him. a lot bigger than, mm -hmm. than uh was it josh right yeah, yeah. josh Beck brookner, brookner yeah brookner. he looked a lot bigger than him like it looked like it was like the fuck's going on here why are these two fighting yeah but he he clipped him nice, bro. Chase looked like fought like a girl. If you haven't seen it, just look up on TikTok Chase Demore fight, and you will laugh at the way this guy's fighting. For a guy who's like a former athlete, football player, like he looked very unathletic. Yes, yeah, uncoordinated. Yeah. Whatever you no call movement. it. Like I think it's time to hang up, hang up, <laughs> hang up the gloves. <laughs> hang never, up. never hop in the ring again, dude. That was <laughs> dude. an embarrassing. Like, who's paying money to watch that fight? I just don't know. I feel yeah. like it doesn't add value to the card. Yeah, you gotta have some shitty. Maybe a comedy right? show. <laughs> you get a good laugh out of how he's like fucking flailing his arms. Bro, there's a time where he just had his fucking arm out and just chasing him. Like he was running, like sprinting, just with his arm out. He was like, <laughs> he was winding like, up like this. He throws it like this as punches, too. It's like there, there was it's one like clip on TikTok, yeah. bro, that we all saw. And he like went for a punch, but like pulled it back. I'm just going to show it. He like went for a punch. Oh, oh chance, dude. <laughs> Went for a punch, but like pulled it back because he thought he was gonna get hit, and then like went like. It was so and then bad. his body went so forward bad. too with it. It was weird. Just so unathletic. To, it looked like he was scared to get hit. Yeah, like, God knows how that guy. Well, he's like a, a pretty boy kind of guy, so like. Has to protect the face. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. Ugly yeah. face to be called a pretty boy. <laughs> oh fuck. I would honestly fuck that guy, to be honest. Would you? I would. He's got a lot of weight on you, though. Yeah, I'd probably have to. You have to I could up. put. What is he like? Two sixty. I could easily put twenty pounds on. I think he's probably like two sixty. I think he's yeah. around two sixty, dude. He's a yeah. big boy. You're in your what? Two ten? Yeah, I could put. I could go to two thirty pretty Easy. easily. Two like it'd be 30? hard, not yeah, not easily, so. but I could do it. Yeah, I'd, I'd be curious to see you as fucking two thirty. Bro, man. you'd be fucking. That <laughs> should be big. Bro. Okay, not no, not two thirty. <laughs> no, but he would be like. You'd like be, he'd just be built. He'll be yeah. Let's make it happen. Yo, you want to see it. I think tank. I could fucking beat him. Start training then. Let's go. Call him out. <laughs> like we fucking drink Guys, three man, nights in a row. We're not dude. training can for do it. it. No. Nah. <laughs> Eventually, honestly, I would like to. I would I would take like three months to train. Really? Yeah. And I think I could take someone like that. Chase that, Demore? Yeah. He's fucking ass. That'd but. be a good name to get to do. Chase Demore, he's been in a few fights. Big name. That'd be fun. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't say big name. He's like a decent, decent name. Decent. Incredibly mid name. <laughs> he's, in, he's in a Misfits boxing match. Which I would say mid, uh, mid. Yeah, but yeah. who the fuck is Overflow? Over T Flow. Over, over T Flow. Like. I hope Over T Flow isn't like low key huge. I feel like low key he is huge because he's facing fucking face <laughs> temper. I don't know. I've just never heard of him. So like, <laughs> <laughs> could he be huge. Kind of like fuck weird. you, Over T Flow. Like you fucking bad guy good dude. with colored hair. Yeah, he was see. a little weird. Does he have green hair? Purple, yeah, he purple. did. Blue or purple? Oh, he has colored hair. Let's say Over T Flow. Oh, dude, he has 411k. He's got two million on TikTok. Okay, over T Flow Fox. Okay, all right. He's <laughs> sponsored by G Fuel. Okay. Creator code. All right. Let's word, go. Word. Wait, is he actually the CEO of GameStop, or is this a lie? Oh shit. Oh, no way. Oh, he's part of the Face Clan, though. That make makes sense, though. I don't oh, know. He, uh, he loves, that's weird. Those no, he loves guys? Face Clan. Mm. I heart TikTok G Fuel and oh. Face Clan. Maybe he, that was a better. Kind of doesn't make sense to make two Face Clan members fight. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, whatever. He got knocked down in 30 seconds. So word, I'll fight word. him too. Yeah. <laughs> Who else? Would you take DK Money? Or the f Yo, actually. Would you take Greg Hardy? DK Money and King Kenny actually looked good in the ring. Oh, yeah, they did. King Kenny looked good. Yeah. DK, though, was pretty fast with his hands. I think he got, King Kenny got a lucky shot on him that knocked him out early in the in the round, but he actually looked pretty good. DK? I'll give it to him. I'm pretty sure he might be Canadian. Well, King too. Kenny's pretty good, though, I swear. Isn't he fought a couple times? He fought faced yeah. uh, Sensei. So mm -hmm. like, yeah, and he beat him, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. I think it was by decision or something. There was also was another a weird fight, though, too. The fight night. or something. The Greg Hardy versus um, Haseem. Haseem uh, Rockman Jr. Yeah, Rockman Jr. That was a 100-pound difference. 
Really? Whatever. Yo, they were huge. Yeah, he we did look fucking big. He, he weighed in. Uh, Greg Hardy at 320 pounds. And uh, Hasim was like 226. Yeah, he got knocked out. But Who did? it I was mean, pretty, pretty good, good showing, though, Wait, for the seen? fact. Is that the guy that Jake Paul was supposed yeah, to play? Yeah, he fought. Yeah. He lost. He lost. That's, isn't he a pro boxer? He's dead. Yeah. But he was a 100-pound Yeah, the guy was yeah. He was a football him. defensive end. Defensive end. And he's also, he's been like MMA fights before. Oh, shit. Yeah, so he, like, he's, he had some like assault thing going on, and then he got kicked out of the league for the NFL. And oh, just, shit. Yeah, and then he started to uh, get But assault like, charges like spawned out of nowhere. He, nah, I mean, yeah, he did some fucked up shit. He's on the Carolina Panthers. Nice. Very good player, but. Oh, that's how you know. He's on the Panthers. Fucked up his career. Yeah. Damn. Now he's, in, uh, now he's knocking out a scene. Yeah. Right? <laughs> he's doing well, clearly. Yeah. Fuck. Damn. So, Steph, FIFA World Cup started today. I know. I'm excited. I watched the first game. Qatar versus Ecuador. Really? Yeah, How was, was it? Not, not too bad. First home like, loss ever. Mid. Yeah, yeah, poor team. Not. Yeah. What was the like, score? Uh, I think 2 nothing. 2 nothing Ecuador. Yeah. 2 nothing Ecuador. Who are you? Did you put any bets on the World Cup? Yep. My favorite team in the world, Brazil. Brazil? What you? What's the bet? I hammered, hammered them. $1,000. Holy what's shit. What's the return on that? Uh, it was like I actually fucked up because I was gonna bet like what a month ago, and I, I was like thinking that mm-hmm. the mites like odds might go up. I don't know why, just might change sure, a little yeah. bit. But they ended up going down like seventy five to three seventy five plus three seventy five. Oh damn! So it's oh, like thirty seven fifty. Okay, still decent. That's though, a right? lot. No, it's still good. Who would you say are like the favors in the tournament? I think it's uh, Brazil, yep. Argentina, France, Spain, England. Okay. Those are the top five. I don't know. Past that, I think. Any teams you think are kind of overrated? A lot of hype going into the tournament, but you don't think they'll have as good of a showing? Nah, there's a, there's a lot of s- solid teams. Well, doesn't Ar- Messi's never won, right? Uh, Messi's never won. Uh, Ronaldo's never won. Well, just international Messi's never won, right? Oh, like a like smaller cups he has. No, with Argentina. Like, no, like... Uh, I swear he's Copa never League? won an international title. No, he's won like smaller cups. Like but not what? like the big like, one, like you know, like they're like called the one Euro that's just Cup. for South America, kind of. Oh yeah, they won the Copa. They won the Copa. I'm pretty sure I they don't won think it they once. have. Uh, no, I think they lost in a shootout, didn't they? And then that was a big deal because he's like, Messi's never won. Oh, yeah, but like, yeah, and all those won like the Euros. Euro. So yeah, that's why. Yeah. So would you say like Argentina's overrated then? Maybe. No. Well, no. I bet on Argentina, so I hope they're not overrated. Oh, to win the whole thing, you got Argentina. Yeah. Oh, what were the odds there? I got it in early, so opposite of Steph, and now mm. it's gone down. So I got in when they were third favorite, now they're second favorite to win. Oh, shit. I, it was like 25 or 50 difference. Well, oh, I have a question so for like you. It's like plus seven something. So if Argentina's, you know, favorite right now, top two team in the tournament, if Argentina wins and Messi leads them to a, a World Cup, does that solidify him better than Ronaldo? Even though I know a lot of people, people will say already Messi. say it because like, they ha- you have the best player of the world, right? It's called a Ballon d'Or. Yeah. It's like the gold ball that you see. Yeah. So people, he has more, I think two more than Ronaldo. Oh, so already it's like, that's it's, what it's people say. Yes and, no, and, and his stats are better too than Ronaldo. No. Yeah, they are. Ronaldo has more goals. Yeah, but like games wise, you gotta look at that. Like he's got, he's gonna, he has way more goals in a short amount of time. Yeah, but it's like, goals per game average is better for Ronaldo's Messi. played through like multiple uh, leagues, got titles at multiple leagues. So you can. Yeah, this is, this compare. is what I'm talking about. Like, I feel like the soccer debate's hard. Because statistically, maybe Messi is a little better in that, like it goals per what game. You value. Yeah, it depends exactly. So he's won at all three of the top leagues in the Spanish league, English league, and in the Italian league. Yeah, exactly. So Messi's yeah. been at the a stacked team his entire life. Yeah, well, yeah, Not, sure. Like that's a thing. They were but, both on stacked teams throughout yeah. their careers. But if you look, one of the big things that Ronaldo fans have over Messi fans is that Ronaldo won that Euro, so he's won internationally, mm-hmm. or Messi hasn't. So I think if he wins the World Cup, which is the hardest one to win internationally. I think I personally think that puts him. This is like, literally both their last times in the World Cup. Is that for they both said that too? They're, they're like they're thirty six. Yeah, they're old yeah. as fuck. Like, in order to carry your team, like, yeah, you got to do it now. Yeah, damn. Did you put down money on it, Chip. Who do you think's winning? I, I didn't put money down on it. I don't know enough about soccer to like for betting yeah, on it. I'll cheer for Portugal. Hammer a cheeky bet though. Come on now. Uh, we all have teams here. I got England. You have money on England? I got England. Okay, what's that? What's that odds? Uh, it's pretty that's pretty gotta good. be a lot. It, it was, was over bet. a thousand. I think like two. I'm I think I put down fifty bucks. Maybe the fuck, on I'm gonna live bet now. Are oh, you guys bet on this? check. I yeah, put down also Canada win ten now, bucks. Now that ooh. cheeky. So I also what? did that. I think like ten it's bucks. Twenty-five thousand. Like, I swear. Yeah, something stupid. Uh, Are you fired up? Canada's in it. Yeah, of course. Yeah, you gotta be horny, right? Obviously, I support Brazil, but like, can't support because you don't have the option to support Canada that often. But first time since. 86. 86. Mm-hmm. Plus 750 for England to win. So I put down 50 bucks. Oh, shit. 375. Wait, are they the third favorite now? Uh, this, I, I locked this no, a long time ago. No, France is third. France is third. 
Bro, seven fifty is very close to my Argentina, like seven twenty. If Canada wins, though, I put down ten bucks to win twenty five hundred bucks. So that'd be all time great moment. <laughs> that would be fucked. You know what? Which There's one is no looking way. at me nice? England. And I'm going to tell you why. Mac just chose England. That's, oh, my, that's yeah. my horse. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. We literally, literally just been talking about I don't want to go to the same minutes. way. But England always gets like Shit. raved about and they go, England Portugal. fucking sucks, dude. Portugal plus 625. I don't like England. Yeah, but Italy Portugal. Portugal, Portugal plus 625. Yeah. Portugal good, is ranked dude. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What's England now? No, what? five, six, What's Argentina? Argentina is plus 295. Oh! What did you get in that? Let's go. Dude, this is to reach final. To win the whole thing. Oh no! Are to reach sure? final. That's what I'm oh, to yeah. say. oh, oh come on! Wait, man. where's my? Wait, where's the, what the fuck? Because the, the tournament, out, start, the tournament too started. Horny. That's why it changed. Oh, mm. yeah. I got too horny. Well, it barely started. Fuck. Only one game. Yeah, Odds I don't know. I remember I was trying to. Change. I told you. I told you this though before for Champions League. I couldn't quarters, bet. Once it starts, it's just like that semis. Sucks, though. Oh, you mm-hmm. can't do to win. Anymore? Winner double chance. No. What do you mean? Twenty eight World Cup. Yeah, you can. Brazil's two. F- oh, reach final. Yeah, it changed. That's all it is now. Just the reach final. Wow, what the fuck? I don't know why. That, that's that. weird though. You should, it like, says the that. date though on the. Oh no! Thing. To win odds to what win. You? All right, what, what is what it? What is it? Brazil's Brazil's favorite at three twenty five. Argentina five fifty. Oh. England one thousand. Bro. Oh fuck. Bro, Brazil's just going down well, and that's down. It, right? That's got to be at odds to win. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Damn, okay. I hammered it too I think early. It's just in a Portugal's section. plus fifteen hundred. Run it. Yeah, but you're Portuguese. Yeah, but uh, no, I I do, but I don't. Yo, think I got France. Argentina plus seven hundred. What's France? Oh shit! It's five fifty. France is. Let's go. France is eight fifty. Yeah, I feel ben- Benzema just got hurt too. Yeah, they're oh, one of their they're last, the guy last who World won Cup Ballon d'Or ever. got yeah. injured. Sneaky butt bet that you guys should hammer Senegal to win their group. Who's in that group? <laughs> they're not. Apparently, they're group. fucking good, dude. Who's they in the group? Ma- they though? have money. Yeah, money. The fuck is money? I don't Plays know. On He's I just saw player. a TikTok that Senegal's sneaky good. But who's <laughs> in their division? Uh, I think Netherlands is their like uh, biggest competition. Netherlands is Maybe. good, but like I'll put the odds on Fuck it. Four twenty-five. To win group and I got They're, Canada. I'm pretty sure to move the same on. as like the Qatar and thing. Ecuador. I got Canada to move on as well. All right, I did Portugal to win. I'm nice. just praying Canada wins it all. Bro, you have seventy five bucks to win twelve hundred? Nice. That's pretty solid. Pretty yeah. solid I'm bucks. supporting Portugal second just because of Ronaldo. It's my boy. It's my guy. I would support Italy, but sucks. Um, they have a solid team if they made it. I know. Fuck, man. I don't know how they don't make it, man. That's just embarrassing. Second fucking one, dude. I have a question. Any team that you think... It, I, did I ask you the underrated or overrated in the tournament? Overrated, you said. Who's underrated? Like a sneaky team that you could see like taking this Senegal. thing home. Who's the dark horse? Yeah, a dark horse. That's hard. I'd pr- I mean, Portugal's probably. Yeah, there. Portugal. Really? Well, they're like not even favorite oh, yeah, at they're all. Like, they're eighth right now, favorite or whatever it is. Yeah. Yeah, they have a solid team. They got a lot of new players recently. Really? That have stepped up. Yeah. Oh, like younger guys? No, like just, yeah. But, like the thing is with the World Cup, it's four years, so you have like a every four years. It's, it's a like huge a gap, big gap. Yeah, yeah, that's true. You got a bit, and also, I guess soccer is a pretty big team sport. So yeah, chemistry and stuff. If they haven't played together, like it's hard to. Your people are basing it on all of their like individual play. That's true. And mm-hmm. sometimes like Portugal the best actually team has good doesn't link-ups. always have the best players. Two Man City players, two Man U players, pretty a lot of. Uh, EPL players. Yeah. Oh, like they play together already. Yeah. Ronaldo, Bruno Fernandez, a couple of defenders play together on the same team. They have good chemistry. Mm-hmm. So that could be a sneaky difference maker right there. Mm-hmm. Maybe, man. I'll be fired up. I know my dad will be pretty fired up. I would be sick if Ronaldo won a World Cup. I mean, yeah, World Cup. Yeah, and he... now what if Ronaldo, if, Ronaldo, if Portugal wins this, now this is a new question. I don't question. know. If, Does that if change you would it put it no? over, though. You no. could. Like, you could. Like, it's so. Com- uh, yeah, it's true. Ar- uh, arguable. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know enough on soccer to debate it, but yeah. 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 Nice. I wish it would lose in dark so, times for that, the fucking that'd be nice, Italians. Man. I will right say, now. though, it sucks. It's kind of a weird time to watch the World Cup. That's, it's a, so that's weird. the one thing that sucks. And the timings, are, because it's in Qatar, timings are terrible. They're what like, are the games? Bro, some of them are like 4, 6 in the morning, 10 a.m. Um, I think the, like, the latest one is like 1 p.m. Damn. Damn. That really yeah. does suck. It also sucks because like all the other sports are on right now. We were talking about this before, and it's like, Football, hockey, and and it, and uh, baseball or basketball. basketball are on. But you're really just competing with the Western side of the world. Yeah, yeah. the entire really world is. is that, so I saw a stat and it said like 3.5 people turned into the World Cup final last year. A billion. Million. Uh, no billion. No. What do you mean? Half the fucking. It was world? fucked. I don't, I don't think that's. There's Maybe no it's way not. That's I, accurate, saw, I, le- I saw. I don't even think half the world have TVs. Yeah. No, dude. It was a lot. 3.5 billion. 
I don't know. Maybe that There's was no a, a, exaggerated, so, but I know it's in the billions. I, I did see the stat that he saw, but I, I think it's absolutely No, I've cat. seen it before that it's over a billion at least. No. Yes, it is. Dude, no chance. Look it up. No, I'll viewership, right I could see a billion. Up. Because the Super Bowls and stuff, they get like I think 100, 100 and something. Million? 100 and something million. This is also the biggest. Everyone in the world is now watching this. Who can watch it? I'm talking about know? the final cup, the World Cup too. Like, We're talking about most of the states, most of like... North America, probably anywhere in South America that has TVs and shit. Anywhere in Europe that has TVs. <laughs> Africa, wherever they have TVs and shit. <laughs> what? Why are you laughing? It's true. 2.98 million. No, wait, this is not it. <laughs> <laughs> it was tough stat to show their stuff. tough stat to turn, dude. Okay, how many no, people? Dude, it is not 3 million. It is not 3 million. Bro, that's a lot of people. No. Let's see. Let's look it up. Bro, there's, there's no way that it's a billion. Not even close to a... I wouldn't even say half a billion. There. What? Oh no, maybe that's what it was. Oh yeah, dude, it was five hundred and seventeen million people. That was their average live audience. There. That's, that's yeah, cool. probably per game on the like group stage and shit. No. France and Croatia. Is final, it really? World Cup final twenty eighteen. It yeah. was five it's in the billions, yeah. but that's very what was that five hundred million. That makes sense. I think you know what it said? I think I think it said combined. Mm. No, it says yeah, it shows a record. Three point five billion people watched the World Cup in Russia. So oh, every, so that's every everything. That's combined. what it said. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Mm. Just a little miscommunication on stats. Yeah, I okay. showed you. I, I didn't see. I, I didn't. I only had said it anywhere though, but yeah. So we're gonna take the fucking vibe down a little oh, bit here. Oh fuck! I didn't know. But we gotta talk about it. Okay, I didn't uh, even see that. It's yeah, dude, it is fuck. So. Big news going on right now in especially like the college scene. Um, Idaho, University of Idaho college students, four of them murdered, cold stone stabbed yeah, it's in funny. their house, in their sleep. Three girls, one guy. There was two others in the house. One of the girls that was in the house while the killings were happening asleep was in our Airbnb in Washington State. Yeah. For a pregame that is crazy. or a postgame or whatever. But that is fucked, bro. Like, it's got to be a planned attack, obviously. I don't know, dude. It's, I mean, you don't think so? Bro, some I people just, are just I just crazy. Don't know, dude. You think someone just walked Wait, did in they their find, house get the guy? No. They have, oh, no ev- they have nothing yet. They're still trying to figure it out. There's no it's cameras a, in the apartment? I mean, it's it was fucking, a house. They broke oh, into a house. house. Yeah. yeah, it's a house. That's in why. Idaho, yeah. So it's just like a regular student house at a, in a college town yeah. and like. The crazy thing to me, though, is that there were six people in this house and only four of them are dead. Yeah. I don't know how the other two didn't wake up. I, 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 how apparently did the doors were, up? like, locked. One, the doors were locked, and then, but also, like, yeah, how did they not wake up? How did they real, not wake I, up? I don't know. I, it's just, yeah. How do you feel safe after you hear shit like that? Especially a small town like that. That's the first murder since 2015 in that town. Wow. Damn. Mm-hmm. That's fucked, dude. Damn. And so the one thing that I think they do know is the type of, like, knife. It was, like, a... um what's the word it was like a ridge knife i don't know serrated, exactly. like serrated, serrated knife, serrated knife. Yeah. pretty sure you use that in like one, hunting like a fishing knife where you cut. rambo style okay. machete no a rambo style knife where it's like when it goes in it comes out like fucking way harder because it's like ridged yeah so, so it like, like rips the intestines and shit yeah, so it's like, like a painful this it's is, bad. yeah this guy's crazy they use that in hun- i'm pretty sure it's in hunting when you like kill an animal it's yeah it's yeah. quicker death which is kind of fucked yeah so apparently it was just like something like that like you aren't gonna just like wake up like you might just like wake up from the initial pain but like you're immediately dying after that's fucked which is why like there was no screaming or anything because to kill four like you gotta be fucking like yeah uh like a plant like a real murderer to like properly kill four people in the same house without any of the other ones waking up. In a like span that's of what? fucked. Like how long was he? Do they even know like the duration of how long he was in, like could have been they, there for an hour? I don't think they know. They yeah. just I think they they woke up the next morning and then they called. That is, dude. Imagine waking up to that, dude. Bro, that you is, would be traumatized. You're fucked. Them. I would not be able to go to sleep again. You're fucked for life, dude. dude. The fact that we met her too is pretty fucked. That's yeah. what really hit me. I saw it on Instagram. That's how the first thing I found out. She posted on Instagram a picture of like that. I'm like, and I started reading the caption. I was like. Wait, what? Wait, what happened? And I looked it up online and I saw four people were murdered. And I didn't realize those were her roommates and she lived there. And then I heard about that after and I was like, wow. That is so sad. That's fucked. So sad. That's really sad, man. Rest in peace, dude. That is sad as fuck. Yeah, that's wild. You hate to see that. And it's fucking scary because like we go to all these like different colleges. Some of them are sketch. Yeah, you're chipped out because I went to go pick up staff at like 4 a.m. Yeah, I woke up 
at three fifty something in the morning to the door being like someone trying to like uh, get the code in the door and then trying to open it. And I was just like, what the fuck? So Wait, I texted. Sure you heard that? I didn't know. I, you're, I heard that. I swear like the to door I'm trying to be open too. I heard. No, I was trying to he, lock. He it. locked I fucked it. up lock. Like I pressed lock, but it wasn't closed. So it like the door went in while I was like trying to lock. So I like pulled it quick. Yeah. So it definitely made. So some I heard. Noise. I heard the key, like the code going in, and then the door being trying to opened, and then I was just like, what the fuck? So I texted you to see if you're home yet. And then you said that chance you picked you up. And I was like, oh, thank the Lord. Because like for like 10 minutes when you didn't text me back, I was just like in my bed kind of tripping out. I was Damn. confused from that message. I was like, I didn't even understand. Yeah, yeah. Steph was, te- Steph was like, I was high as fuck Yo, in the why? car. <laughs> <laughs> why would Max say this? So I was like, oh yeah, just tell him I left to come get you. Yeah, I was fucking tripping out, man. I didn't know you guys were awake. I would have told you I was going if I knew you were, or you woke up. No, I, I woke up, yeah. Oh, I originally thought I was passed out. I'm a light sleeper. I'm, yeah, I'm a very Mac light is a fucking light sleeper. That's good to know, man. If someone breaks in, he's going to be out. Yeah, I'm going to be on that. Maybe shit, next man. time, just fucking like scream or something. What the good s- thing, though, about this house, the floors are super creaky. It's yeah. very old. School, so you're yeah. going to hear if someone's walking down that hallway. Did you lock that door after? No, I was just, I was in my bed, like, hands ready, like, ready to go. <laughs> Anyone comes in here, man. Max doing, like, push ups to get ready. Like, okay, Max ready. eyes just on the door. Yeah, just locked. Oh, no, I, would, my, I was laser focused on my door, dude. Damn. I would be tripping. Yeah. yeah. Fan question time. Um, by the way, for the people watching this right now um, on YouTube, if you haven't yet, like, comment, subscribe. Comment down any questions you guys want us to answer. We literally take all these from the YouTube videos. Almost at 2K. I think we're 30 people around away. We're at 1.97, so 30 more so people. Subscribe because 50% or more or not. That's He knows that. He checks that shit. Just press the red button. It's pretty easy. Just do we that you for, for the boys. Um, but you guys have been crushing it. So seriously, thank you guys so much, especially if you do watch the... Um, the YouTube videos, it means a ton. Um, this one's from Hunter Shane, who's someone that you guys look up to um, and inspires you. We'll start off with you, Steph. Right. I feel like this is uh, pretty pretty basic, but my dad. Why? Multiple reasons. Uh, grew up in India. I feel like he had a harder life there, starting mm-hmm. up. Whatever. Start, he actually started a business there. Had to. He decided to leave it to come to Canada for a better life. Um, started like a new life over here. Raised me, obviously, and my sister, and has supported me in whatever I've wanted to do. And the one thing that I noticed with him is if he, if he'll like support me and try to get me whatever tools I need in order, if he, if, if he knows it's like benefiting me. Mm-hmm. So like for school, he would like encourage me. He bought a 3D printer for me, uh, encouraged me to build a CNC machine. So if he knew it would benefit me and my career, he was all for it. Nice. That's yeah. a good one. I like that. Yeah, that's a good one. Really good explanation too. That was great. I love that. That's a good one. What about you? Um, obviously my parents do as well. Um, but I'm gonna go with Mark Cuban. Let's go on why? Because he like, kind of. He's like uh the most I'd say. Um, uh, how would I put it? The most influential. No, he's like an, he's like a business guy, but he's still got he like he party he's, he's got he a fire good character. Yeah, too. he's like he's like that business guy that like still that doesn't really give a fuck as well. Like he in college he like did like whole party life thing. He would like throw parties and shit. Mm-hmm, That's yeah. how he like got got started in the whole business world. Um he owns a fucking sports team. Yeah. He's like yeah. just a cool dude as he well. is i feel like answers the, all his emails one yeah. time and we were working on a business in college and i sent him an email and fucking answered yeah, yeah. he actually answered he yeah. answered dude <laughs> holy shit yeah he like answers all his emails apparently he doesn't use his phone he just if you want to communicate with him email yeah you know? email all the time he answers everything sure. like I, and i've crazy. seen a lot of people like even on like tiktok and yeah. stuff like getting him on a podcast like he'll say no sometimes mm-hmm. most of the time probably but he answers at least, which is cool. I can only imagine the amount of emails he gets to answer every single one. And the fact one. that people know that he answers his emails, which means people probably even email him more now. You yeah. know what I mean? And they're not just like typical replies. Because like when I, uh, when I emailed him, it was like a pitch for like a business like investment. And he like actually like replied with like questions about it. So I was like, fuck, like it's pretty cool. Yeah. That yeah. is cool. Yeah. Is You're just cool. basically like talking to a billionaire. That's we true. are talking about you, are, <laughs> you were Literally directly are, yeah. talking to a billionaire. Yeah. So I think that's cool. And like for him to like, I think that reply actually like would make me would is a reason why I like thought of that. Plus with like the whole sports team, 
that would be a fucking sick goal to have. You gotta be crazy, like rich to like own a sports yeah. team, but that's sick. So yeah, also, a combination of like character and like business mindset yeah. would be why. I feel like in the entrepreneur you'll like space, he's the guy that's he's the beauty. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like he's yeah. the guy that I think you look at the stuff he even invests in, it's like yeah, Cuban would invest in that. You know what I mean? He's just like that guy. He was my yeah. favorite guy in Shark Tank. Yeah. He's still, yeah, he was my favorite guy in Shark Tank too. Yeah. He's a beauty. He seems like a fun guy to play for too, like as like an NBA owner. Yeah. So. Yeah, like a down to earth, but like good dude. You know Super I mean? down to earth. Yeah. You yeah. fuck with him. Like he's like, he's my homie. He's my mm-hmm. dog. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Very, very chill. I like that answer. Good answer. I like that one. What about you, Mac? Uh, I go Arnold Schwarzenegger, I'd say. <laughs> Real. Why, why no, no, I just happy? feel like I could see you like watching the his documentary and be like, oh, Arnie, like, yeah, you get so like out. he really inspired me to like get in the gym and start working out after I watched Pumping Iron. Yeah. And then also like just seeing his story too, because he's from like small town Austria, like really grinded in the gym, worked himself up, came here, started bodybuilding and then moved to like acting, killed in the acting, became one of the biggest actors in the 1980s. And then surprisingly, he became the governor of California. Like just That's seeing, fucked. Like, <laughs> seeing where he's come from that and like fucked. all the success he's had in his life is just pretty inspiring to be honest so damn yeah i like that that's nice. a good answer nice how about you uh me um obviously other than my parents too um i'm going jake paul just in the social media space and i'll, and I'll tell so you why dust. no I'll, i can i tell you why <laughs> yeah. so, tell you, of you. so no you. no because i think he's the one guy that gets shit on the one of the most in in social media youtube tiktok space he gets shit on the most especially now that he's doing boxing but he's one guy that's not afraid to challenge the status quo and i think in content social media that's one of the most important things is always challenging yourself and he will always do it and he takes the most risks and he's benefited from it and that's a guy i look at and he has a great i don't give a fuck mentality similar to portnoy where he'll just do what he wants doesn't care if it's different like starting the bffs podcast thing but jake attacks everything fully confident he's going to do well and if he fails, he, even if he fails, he doesn't care. He's super gonna, smart business guy too. And he's a slow key, a super smart business guy. Team 10 was a fucking, um, was a startup that he had guys like Gary Vee invest in. So all that money that he million got. million dollars, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Like a, a fucking seed funding. And that was just like, I didn't know that. As you a know. 16 year old. Yeah. yeah. That was fucking, well, or no, was, 17. No, he wasn't that young. Was he 16? He was pretty young. I think he was seven, so around that How, age. Yeah. He's a 97, right? Yeah. Around 17, actually, 16, Definitely 17, yeah. Six, Pro, yeah. Probably, yeah. yeah. Probably, yeah, around 16, 17. Yeah, so. so I feel like just a guy that isn't afraid to challenge, and even though he takes the most shit, he wakes up every day like, I don't give a fuck, I know who I am, I'm going to kill it. It's every that, day, bro. Yeah, it's, it's every day, man. It is every day, bro. So I fuck with him, and he's inspiring. I fuck with him. Nice. Yeah. So. Next question here we got from Donnie G. If you had to get rid of all drinking games besides one, which one are you keeping and why? Steph, we'll start with you, you sexy bitch. Uh, I, I went to the most classic game, beer pong. Why is that? I feel like it's just simple, easy, always two teams, two partners. It's just a good good game. And we play it like the most all the time. It's yeah. the easiest game to play. Really always, inclusive. Always have a table. Yeah. All you need is cups. Good vibes. Yeah. Chill. Weird. Nice. What do you change? Uh, I'm going to go combination of beer pong and flip cup and go flong. Okay. I haven't played it in a while, but I feel like if there's only one I got to like keep with, that would be a great one to keep because love flip cup. Also like beer pong. It's like a fast paced game. gets everyone involved. You could, you could play with four. You could set up like another table beside it and play with fucking yeah. six or eight. Mm-hmm. So that's what I'm keeping. Flong. That's a good game. What about you, Mac? I'm going uh, baseball, the drinking game. It's a unique one. I know a lot of people probably don't know it. We've done a TikTok on it before, but it's a very inclusive game. Basically, it's like minimum of eight people and yeah. you go upwards to like as many as you want realistically. Really fun. It gets to some really intense games at the end. Like if you're yeah. tied in like the uh, bottom of the ninth, you're going in like 7-7. Seven, seven. It just gets really intense and I think it's just really fun. Yeah. It's a nice like variation of like beer pong in there, a little bit of flip cup and then a little bit of catching too. And it's competitive as fuck. Very competitive. We've had some really good games in the past. Yeah, but. where you just get fired, like walk-offs, or that's got to be... Wa- the- a walk-off home run to end it is one of the best feelings. Yeah, that, yeah. like you're the guy. You're that you're, guy. You're the man. Yeah. yeah. No, that's a good one. Um, it could be a high scoring, too, which means a lot oh, of drinking. We've had some games before. It was like 20s. 20, <laughs> 23 to like 19. So yeah. It's, it's pretty crazy, yeah. And it could be a complete swing. Like, you could fucking go on a run where one Big team swing. gets 10 runs in a row, and next one you can come back and get yeah. 10, mm-hmm. 12. Exactly. That's yeah. true. 
So it's yeah, it is cool. But it could also be I feel like it could also be boring in the sense where no one's hitting that day. It, it and it's really just depends. like fucking yeah. out three and out, three yeah. and out, three yeah. and out. We, we've had out. some games where it was like three to two kind of end in store. So yeah. it, it does get a little boring at times. Or but. one team's just absolutely hammering. Bro, one guy's I mean, on it's, fire. It's fun for the one team though. I hate to play Mac in that game because his <laughs> cup is literally the home run home run cup. Yeah, yeah Mac's money on their home run I, cup. I call myself the Barry Bonds of that Dude, game. Dude, I remember yeah. when we used to play that in like your basement for like pre's and shit. All the time. Always yeah. smacking that home Autom- run guy. Automatic, man. Automatic. Yeah, Mac, Mac we always had in the four seed because he was just fucking just like, water, fuck. bro. I'm bases DH, loaded. Man. Yeah, bases loaded. Get on first so Mac can take us home. <laughs> he always took us fucking home, man. Yeah, got yeah. the boys, man. Take no, us man. home. Yeah, yeah Mac was the man. Uh, still is the man. Uh, sure, man. I would go, for me, I'm going Beard Eye. And I know it's a game we don't play a lot of, but I think just from like a game standpoint, it's versatile, athletic, very competitive easily one of the most competitive you got to really dial in you can't be like too fucked up to play or else it's just a joke um so i like how you know you can have a really good game of beard eye where everyone's watching super intense great vibes all around you can also just play it if you're just shooting the shit drinking chilling on a nice summer day i'm a big beard eye guy I'm going beard eye i yeah. love the culture around beard eye too oh it's great it's really dude. good culture they have like Dies life, yeah. killing it. All all the unique tables we see too when we're at like, yep. all the schools we mm-hmm. go to. Yeah, that's cool. It's like it's like basically like flags, yeah. like a college room of like flags. They'll have like just a bunch of sick tables. Even seeing the Pike one yeah. the other day was like surreal. Like that's a nasty that's die two thousand dollar table. It's pretty crazy. It's fucking awesome. Lights up. Yeah. And it's, yeah. it just keeps growing and growing that game too. So. I will say, beer is, die is growing uh growing on me. It's a great. Ever it's just a good time. If you get into US. a good game, it's super fun. And a sploosh is so sick. That's a great when you feel. hit one of the best feelings. When you hit that cup, bro, it's like it's such a hard thing to do, That's and like you're not aiming for it. So like when it hits, you're like, let's fucking go. And I would, like do something like that on like a ten fucking ten game. That would be hard. It would be sick to, to walk off a walk off sploosh. sploosh. A walk off sploosh. Yeah. That's hard. Is so like that probably is the hardest thing to do in drinking games. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. That is what I was hoping for. I'm like, yo, maybe it's tied right now. We hit a sploosh and. <laughs> yeah. People would go nuts. They yeah. had a big cup there too, fuck. and I was like, "Fuck, dude!" I was actually aiming for it at one point. I also like the feeling of getting a really nice defensive catch. Nice like grab, if you yeah. go like for a huge dive and that's a huge point, you have your hand yes. up, like you got it. Everyone gets fight, and I like it because everyone gets you're into the game. Like I would love, I can watch like a die game and be glued. Like this game is fucking sick. But with beer pong or something like that, like I don't give a fuck. You know what I mean? But mm-hmm. a nice die game is like I like watching it. And when you make doesn't even it's also like a respect game where the other team will literally come over and like dap you up if you made a good like defensive player FIFA's, big catch. Yeah. And FIFA, I was gonna say FIFA's I love doing FIFA's. That's another thing. So I, I feel like beer pong there will always be like chirping and like some chirping and shit, but like beard eyes like really it's like a respect game. It's a yoga catch. You know what yeah. I mean? Because it's like competitive yeah. a little harder, so I, I fuck with it. I think beard eyes starting to take over as like the number one drink game too, like yeah. popularity wise. Cole- yeah. College wise yeah, Co- I agree. College, yeah. yeah. Tailgates you always see people on the lawn trying to die. It's yeah. like the chill, you can do it. If you're like pre gaming, just chilling with the boys outside, and now like Die's Life is marketing it to just tournaments where Great everyone, brand, yeah. Yeah, dude, everyone, especially out west, and they're fucking nasty out west. Um, and yeah, it's just taking over the scene. They'll just do it like for fun, like all Saturday, all day. Oh, yeah. yeah. All week, bro. All week, yeah, literally dude, every some day. Some guys will be like, yo, you want to play Die right now? Like Monday at like fucking four o'clock. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Chuck some cube. Great game. Um, next question here we have from. All in all, out pranks. We have Southern girls or no or Northern girls, and why? Mac, we'll start with you. Mac, <laughs> I already Let's know the see, answer yeah. here. I think everyone Let's knows my it. answer here. I'm going Southern girls. I love their accents. When a girl drops y'all, I don't know, like it just melts my heart, man. What? That and if the, the, I love the Southern food and Southern hospitality is just a real thing. I love Southern hospitality. Some of the nicest people we've met have been in the South. I just I just love Southern girls, man. I'm gonna marry a Southern girl when I'm older. Seriously. I hope so. What state is she going to be from? I don't know. Maybe Mississippi, maybe Alabama, maybe Texas. No way you're marrying a chick from Mississippi, man. I don't know. Probably not. But Some like, of them are like I'd say probably accents, Texas. Man. I like the accent, though, dude. I just said, when a girl drops y'all. Bro, some is like gibberish, though, I feel like. When you're okay, talking some's about a little too strong, but like a good, nice southern accent. Yeah. yeah. I feel yeah. like the, sell, uh, the southern hospitality thing is like nice and all, but sometimes, bro, I feel like it's just so fake. Like, sometimes, yeah, there's just really nice people that are, like, all for it. But, like, it's, some, it's it's like, I feel like 
the culture is like oh like we're so nice and outgoing and like maybe in the up like north and like east coast it's like oh they're fucking dicks but i feel like low-key those like dicks are be like more loyal and like actually nicer if you get to know them versus these like southern people i don't know everyone i've come like or majority of people i've come across have been very like genuine i'm like there's some people at the parties and shit you know you get the couple chirps here and there are you talking about like that kind of shit or are you talking about like when we're at the tailgates and like these like dads or like moms like oh you want some food you want this you want a beer no that's like, like that. obviously genuine like giving like the food and oh did i just move that camera <laughs> fuck is this good yeah okay yeah um but no nah, i don't know i feel like it's just like they're fake i don't know it just comes across but like I, fake i, as I think fuck. everywhere you, you're gonna go though like you're gonna have like fakeness and people who are like just putting on like persona whereas yeah. like Sure, there may be some people in the South that have that persona, but I feel like majority of them are actually like genuinely nice and like they fuck with you and they're they're doing that for like because they genuinely care. Yeah, hopefully, I don't know. I don't know. So I'm what's your enough. so so then what's your answer? I think we're mine northern, hundred percent. I don't like because they like they're not. I don't vibe with them. I don't vibe with the Southern girls. I feel like as much. I'm like I fan of like the banter you know between girls and guys like the chirps and like i feel like if they do like they just don't get it you know like they're just like that southern bell like that fucking southern they want that southern guy to be like swoop them off their feet and shit and like be that hard-working fucking country guy and i'm just like i'm not that guy <laughs> i get that i, like, I vibe that. way more with like the jersey italian chicks that like to have a fucking great time aren't afraid to be weird and shit and like oh, yeah. these southern girls are like so proper i'm just like not really the southern it. girls aren't getting weird with you eh? no nah, like they, they don't, don't they don't they're not they don't get like just the chirps maybe, and maybe the you banter. haven't met the right ones you know no it's just like that's their culture it's okay I just like I'm more of like the Italian kind of well, East Coast. Yeah, you want Italian mommy in your life? That's yes, why. I want an Italian mommy in my life. <laughs> what about you, Steph? I feel like I was on the edge. Did someone fart again? No, that was my sorry. <laughs> I like I like snorted it's a little, little bit. Giggle. Yeah, kind of a snort giggle. Yeah. I think I do fuck with Northern chicks more. Really? Why? It's kind of what Change you said. I think just have a good time. I'm also like not a country dude. Mm. So like. You yeah. feel like you're letting them down because you're not a country dude? Yeah, and they have certain likes that I probably don't like. Like what? Like country music. <laughs> See, I, that's that's where we're different. Like, I am a big country I music guy. I hate country music, dude. Yeah, I like driving. <laughs> I, I like pickup trucks. And I used to work in the fucking trades, dude. Yeah, so yeah. You, I I can see. Yeah, yours makes sense. Max is a big South guy. Yeah, like, look at him. Like he I looks like he yeah. fucking just Dude, lived I in. Get, you know how many comments I get about Morgan Wallen? Fuck Wallen, Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Fuck Oklahoma. <laughs> Not fuck Oklahoma, but like Texas. Mississippi. Give me Dallas, motherfucking Texas. Mac looks like he grew up in Jackson, Mississippi. Yeah, you do. Nah, at least give me Oxford. <laughs> Oxford. It's <laughs> a shittier fucking town. <laughs> It's, it's a great town. Yeah. What about you? What, what are you going for? Man, northern chicks, dude. North northern women. I will say. I listen. I love the south, the southern girls. I do think they are super. You know, nice. Like the southern hospitality is a real thing, and they're beautiful. Like, like, come on, we're going to all these schools. Gorgeous southern girls, but the northern girls. I agree with you on certain standpoints. Personality wise, I just gel with better. You know what I mean? I'm, we've also grown up Toronto our whole life. Mm -hmm. The Northeast girls, bro, Jersey girls, like they are. Just the state of New Jersey. New Jersey's fucking smokes, man. And I just, I think they're just the most beautiful people on the planet. And I just can't do a Southern girl. Never. I can't, I can't talk to a Southern girl for more than like a few hours. Or hours? Like, I, like no, I'm like, holy shit, dude. Like, you can talk to her for a certain bit, but eventually it's like, okay, like go home. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like, Whoa. you can't, Yo. like, no, like it's, what I just, you do to you, bro? I just can't, I just don't, we don't see eye to eye on a, on a yes. lot of things do you the know what i'm saying personality is just too different where you guys completely don't gel well together. completely polar opposite you know what i'm saying but like a northern girl you just vibe with at the club better post game when you're getting pizza you're just flowing on conversations it's not as awkward as like southern girls southern sometimes. are like way more like chill and like reserved mm -hmm. it's just yeah, the way they're brought up i'd say yeah mm -hmm. and yeah. northern like east coast and, like, I'm going to throw Cali in that mix, too, because Cali, I'd say, is just, like, a more bougie fucking, like, East Coast. Or more, like, I don't, I don't no, know how I, to put it. I think, like, 
East Coast is its own vibe. South is its own vibe. And I think the West Coast is completely I agree. different I think well. you can have like West. Cali's like a... just a mix of everything. Though, well, a like. lot of people you mean Cali like aren't actually from California. That's true. That's yeah. why. Because everyone moves point. there because the weather's just so great. That's a yeah. good point. And then there's just no girls in the middle states. <laughs> yeah. I don't know where those women. Like they're their own category of like other. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> they're the not mid- either the of those. <laughs> Yeah, the, other central, the, like, central. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, like fucking Wyoming, Idaho. We'll see. Maybe season five. We'll see. I don't like, think I've ever met a girl from Nebraska. Wyoming. What? I don't think I've ever met a girl from, girl from Wyoming. Fun fact: It's the smallest state in America, nice. population wise. Even though it's so big, like really, five hundred thousand yeah. people population in the whole state. In the whole state of Wyoming, it's crazy. Damn, <laughs> Mississauga is bigger. I was gonna say, million, man, yeah. Mississauga is bigger. Our, our thirty-kilometer radius city is bigger than this fucking probably. It's like bigger than Ontario. That's Wyoming. crazy. Damn. That is actually insane to think about. Yeah. Next question. But yeah, Northern Girls. Uh, that was Northern it Girls, for yes. Northern Girls Have My Heart. That was it for the fan questions. Appreciate you guys. We had a couple debate questions. A couple would you rather in the debate questions here. Um, first one though, what's something that feels better than sex? Steph, we'll start with you on this one. Said a fresh cut or fade. Basically the same thing. Just feel like. After a while, you get a fresh cut. Might be going out for the night. Yep. Just elevates your your look. Yeah, you feel like a new man. And in literally. A fresh cut. Like literally. you actually haircuts make and facial hair being shaped yeah. up. Literally, can you go? F- I think that adds like a full point to your scale. Really? I think that's a fair. Full, full point. point. Depends maybe where you are and like if you haven't got it for a while. But like sometimes like it makes a be- massive difference. Yeah. I look in the mirror when I'm like unshaved in no hair no fresh haircut i'm like fuck i am ugly i go and get it done or even just like a quick lineup of the beard it's like i feel way better about myself now yes wow. you that's don't better, think so that's better than sex i i agree though yeah i don't know if that's, that's like a, to your, a that's to your answer and then we'll see okay yeah okay 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 wow. god, that was a little bit of god a, damn subtle, there. subtle chirp for no reason okay that. what about uh what about you change i said after a warm shower jumping into a clean cold like cool sheets that's a good one that's a really it's good one so nice dude yeah clean bed freshly made clean sheets you're clean it does hit different for this such guy a loves good, being clean you know you're about to have the best sleep of your life and you <laughs> fall asleep right away yeah because you're like at the point where you could have had a long day and you're just tired and when the time you like your head hits that pillow you're out in five minutes it's a yeah. beautiful feeling I that is a great that feeling that was a good one i feel like that one it was a little better than your step <laughs> Okay. Uh, no, no, but that haircut was good. He's still waiting good. for yours. Yeah. yeah. Okay. What about what about you, Mac? I'm curious what yours is, but uh, I'm gonna go with the pump at the gym. <laughs> when you're working out, you get a good lift in, and you're just like pumped up. It's just a very good feeling. There's a lot of times I've been at the gym, I've done like side lateral lays, and I swear to God, I almost, I almost came. <laughs> <laughs> I I'm telling you, bro. I swear to God, I almost came. Chip, is that better than mine? <laughs> I, I, dude, if you, I feel like if, I can dude, relate to. Have Mac. you watched Pumping Iron, bro? Like when Arnie says, oh, "I'm coming, I'm coming." Like it, <laughs> It's better than fucking sex. That's it feels weird. like you're coming in the gym. So what, it's not weird, man. What weights? Work out and you'll feel it. What weights when you're doing the side lat? What are what are we talking about? Like what was the weight in the dumbbells for the side lateral raises? It's like 35. Shit. Damn, you were coming that hard. That's a fucking That's good a weight. Lot. Yeah, that you do the 35 and then I I go down to 20 after it's slow and fuck, feels amazing. <laughs> <laughs> you just jacked up on pre workout. Oh my god. I, should, I don't take pre workout. I'm just jacked up on life. Damn. You Jeez. just got absolutely just pure testosterone. Just pumping, just the veins are flowing, man. <laughs> yeah, your what? cock's flowing too. Apparently, it's fucking <laughs> a little bit, rock man. hard. Little Wait, bit. why don't you take pre-workout? Uh, I don't know. To be He's honest, immune to caffeine. Because usually, <laughs> this I work out at nighttime. That's why. Oh, okay. So then I'm, I don't. If I take uh, pre-workout, I'm not going to bed. Dude, I feel like, like I'm immune to morning. caffeine. No. no. Take don't seven shots of espresso no, tr- and try. Try a rain energy drink. I thought I was immune to caffeine too before, and now like whenever I have a rain. I always feel something. Gets you good. Bro, yeah. one 300. time. Yeah, it's the 300. 300? Yeah. One internship. It was the last day of my internship. This was like in 2018 fall. There was like, we had like this little fucking Christmas cafe party. There was espresso and I was like, I never had any before. <laughs> I had fucking seven shots. I remember I was going home. I was fucking shaking, bro. Like I called you. I think you remember you me calling. Me, you're yeah. like, yo, I'm not okay. I pulled over. I... I think I pissed my pants. Like, I, <laughs> Wait, you pissed your pants? I literally bro, I had to pee too. I was like driving and shit and I, yeah, I, I pissed my pants. I was going to say, you know day. if you yeah. pissed it or not. I, I pissed my pants. I pissed Why? My pants. This is the first time I'm here. Yo, you I, never said I you never pissed your pants. You guys, yeah, I, I pissed my pants on the way home. 
I swear to God, bro. I couldn't pull over anywhere. I was just, it, I, I pissed myself. Bro, what the fuck? Yeah, I pissed Wait, he called me. You're what? like, yo, I just had fucking seven shots of espresso. I'm fucking buzzing right now. This and then I was with the that, shot, man. but the street, I wasn't taking the highway. I was going down, uh, I think it's like Guelph line or whatever. And there's no, oh my God, there's like nowhere to pull over. And uh, I just, holy I, shit, I just dude. Fucking While you're pants. driving? I, I, I pissed my pants, but yeah. Dude, that's fucking yeah. 450 Bro, milligrams of caffeine. Bro, why did you take so many? I took, they were, so at first, I thought like Mac, I'm immune to caffeine. I was like, give me, it won't do anything. Then we got up to seven and I remember I left and I was fucking like, <laughs> I was, don't know how, I was shaking, bro. Were you trying to test your limit? Or I thought I was immune. Like it was the same Wait, thing where I've had coffee. Seven though. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, I think we were just seven? going up to see like how many I could do. And by the end of the day, it touched seven. Also, just give and, a ran, running joke. What? In the workplace. Like your work, work, like work. Uh, They're encouraging you to take more, or like it was more so like, oh, I could do another one. I could do another. One. So like, all right, take another. <laughs> one. Another, have another one, Christian. <laughs> fuck. And then I was just shaking my fucking pants, bro. I was sweating. Are you? You, you, li- you couldn't do another one then. No, like, I would have. I. Heart I called him, bro. I was scared, bro. I was shaking, dude. It was. If you have enough, you can get fucking jittery. Yeah. I was paying three hundred is amount. You feel it a lot. Three hundred is really good. Like How much did I have? That's 450. Yeah, I was fucking But buckled. it's also a different kind of like, it hits you different. Yeah, also yeah, depends yeah. if you've like eaten during the day. Cause like if I have like a fucking venti, those venti cold brews from Starbucks, bro, and I like didn't eat breakfast, I will literally be shaking as well. Really? Yeah. That yeah, shit's like fucking meth. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going for me. Um, when you, and I think guys will relate to this a lot, and I think all three of you will too. When you really, really got to go to the bathroom. And like you're, I'm talking, you're sprinting to a fucking bathroom and pop could it be public, whatever, private, I don't fucking care. And then when you, when that first stream comes out of your cock, oh my God, dude, that is that feeling right there. That, that first second better than, better than sex. I don't think yours is better than mine. The, are you kidding me? You're telling me that feeling does not feel good. Relieving. I just piss when I have to. So I don't usually get that pub feeling. golf though. When we're playing pub golf, it's like hole seven, hole eight, you're holding it in. And then you're like, oh fuck, I gotta go. That. I agree with Chip. This is way better. I don't have to hold it in because I know I'm going to lose, so I piss when I want to. Uh, yeah, that's true. Right, that's true. Yeah, <laughs> Max, that like, fucking holds this just for fun. We're I'm always hold, battling. I'm holding it for dear life. I'm like, <laughs> <sighs> I'm stressing hard. And then when I finally piss, it's like, oh. It is so oh nice, dude. God. It's the I, nicest. I'm thinking about it, and I'm like, oh, my God. I just yeah, know yeah, it's Someone nice. check Chip's underwear, man. Yeah, it's no, sorry. It's coming right sorry. now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next question here. Now we're getting to the would you rathers. Um, do you guys sleep when you go to bed? Do you sleep under the sheets? I think you or missed a question. Oh shit! Thanks, Steph. Yeah, the boneless one. You beauty. Um. Okay. This is a good one. Are boneless wings cons- considered? Are boneless wings considered chicken wings? Steph, we'll start with you. I'm gonna say no. Okay. Why? Because I just, they're nuggets dipped in sauce. I like wings and I like boneless wings too, but it's just because they're easier to eat. Mm-hmm. But I don't think they're can actually considered wings. Like a wing is, it has a bone in it. Good answer. Change. Here's my debate to that is we call like drumsticks and shit still chicken wings. But it's yeah. not a wing. I don't call them a wing. Drumsticks yeah, you just overall you call it like chicken wings. Yeah, oh, you have that wings. Oh, you mean sorry, you're talking about like the like the two compared to the one bone. There you go. Yeah. yeah. Cuz the wing is technically the two bone. No, it's it's together though. Isn't? It's together it, and then nope. they break it apart. Oh. Well, you, if you you can ask a place yeah, it's hey, half, can I you know what I mean? You're right. Yeah. So like well. together it's like a wing. Together, it's wings. So technically, you're not eating any chicken wings. Well, I mean, you could you can put it together, but it's easier to eat. Like, yeah, fuck, I don't know. I just <laughs> like boneless wings better, so I'm gonna go fucking yes, cause Oops. they're wing, they're they're chicken wings, they're bro. chicken nuggets. They're they're nuggets. they're not nuggets. They're, they're sauced up nuggets. nuggets. Chicken nuggets. A nugget is a flat piece of of a chicken that's in a square or a circle. Ah, uh, it's actually just mushed up chicken together, and they put breading on top of it, and then they fry it. Right, it's literally a nugget. It's literally, it's, yeah, it's a nugget. Okay, so what do you think? I, I I, like I just it. said, it's, it's a sauced up nugget. Yeah. It's not a wing. It has to have a bone in it to, to be like considered a wing. Yeah, I agree. I'm with right on but with Stefan. If, Steph we, if we go here. to Buffalo Wild Wings, I'm getting boneless wings too. Oh, no. Here's the thing. I you like just called boneless. it wings. It will, that's what they're labeled as. Yeah, so like, why, why, do they call, why does bites? everyone call it wings? It's just that's what they so, have to label To make it seem like it's better, I guess. Yeah. It's an actual wing. Like, oh, like make you feel better about yourself. Yeah, I don't mind a nice buffalo wing either. Like an actual traditional wing. Yeah, I, hate I, I don't get the beef. I mean, Sorry I to cut you off. It, but. I don't get the beef between the, the boneless wing, though, and the wing. Like, some people will rip guys who own, who order boneless wings. Everyone them, from like, Buffalo. Chips and shit, yeah. They get really? really mad about that shit. Oh, because you don't go the traditional, like, chicken yeah. wing. Yeah, they get really mad about it. Like, somebody, yeah. didn't somebody chirp you about it when uh, 
We were oh, at uh, yeah. Duff's because you got boneless wings. No, boneless? I got regular ones at Duff's. Yeah, boneless. Oh. But I got, I definitely remember a chirp. Somebody chirp. Could have been in the YouTube video or something. Indiana. We went to that place in Indiana. I think That's you got where boneless it was. wings. But that place was known for their chicken wings. It was uh, some spot. And the guy ordering was like, you want boneless wings? And he like, chirped you. But because we, we all got yes. traditional. That where, is, that's where, where in it was. Indiana? Some, uh, it was that wing spot. It was like Willie's or some shit I like don't, that. There, we okay, went to sure, a wing yeah. spot. Yeah, dude. Honestly, I fucking like boneless wings better. They don't have veins. They're easier to eat. They're cleaner. And fuck anyone that says different. <laughs> I mean, I like... Here's the thing. I like boneless... We'll call them wings or boneless bites. I like them better, but I do not consider it. I agree. I don't consider it a wing. I consider it a sauced up like chicken tender boneless bite. Also, most of the places that you go to, like other than those like really good places, it's like their wings like are fucking nasty. Like it's not like good chicken compared to like a fucking really like if we go to like a Duff's or like that place in West Virginia, like I'll get regular traditional wings because it's actually like well made, like crispy on the outside soft like good chicken on the inside versus like some of these like random places that we go to like if you're getting wing like chicken wings from like pizza pizza like you're eating fucking cat food yeah i mean that i mean i I will say this though pizza hut their wings are pretty good they're pretty good i don't i can't say i don't remember the last time i had a pizza hut for a fucking pizza shop (laughs) wing it's pretty good it's not bad i don't think i've ever had wings from pizza hut to be honest yeah i just think if you're going to a pizza place and getting wings it's like dude are you drunk or are you high like what the fuck's going on i think it's good when you have like a party and then you get like a mix dude okay you're getting like a bunch the place i'm taking you guys in december is a fucking pizza shop but they have really good wings (sighs) they're good wings bro yeah now i'm not going anywhere wait what's the spot i'll take i'll take somebody else i'll take i'll go with you okay that's good I'll come for the vibes. Remember I told you, the Clarkson, the Clarkson place. Oh, yeah, I'll come. I'll come. It's up. in a pizza spot. Well, like, they're known for their wings, though. They, they sell pizza there, too. Oh, so it's a wing place that sells pizza. Yeah. And if it's also, like, not, if it's a, is it a one off or is it chain? It's a one off. Yeah, so that's. One offs usually fuck. Exactly. That's fair. Yeah, nice. Okay. I'll okay. Come, so. Next. <laughs> Next question. When you guys go to bed, do you sleep under the sheets or under just a comforter? I go under the sheets. It man. depends. You're going under I, the there's sheets. a reason why they give it to you in the bed set, and like you go under the sheets. Because it also like helps keep your uh, comforter like cleaner. I'd say, because mm. like if you're let's say you sweat, like you're directly not sweating onto the comforter, which and then it wouldn't stick it up, which is harder to clean. Sometimes comforters you can't even wash them because they get all fucked up in there. Oh, so that's why I think like you gotta go under the sheets. Mm. That was a good answer. What about you, Steph? I mean, it depends, but I think I'm a cover, uh, like a blanket guy. Comforter. Comforter. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. Same thing. Why not the sheet? Sometimes if I'm cold, I'll go under the sheet because it makes a big difference sometimes. Yeah, I agree. I go under the sheet all the time. One, because like I feel like more covered, like safer. I don't know. With that thin fucking sheet? No, well, sheet and comforter, not just yeah, sheet. Yeah, 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 but just the one thin sheet. Like, it uh, helps. It feel, I feel like more it's sa- not like that safer. Much I have two one. layers now yeah. instead of one. That's a weird feeling. I've always done it like in my life. So when I'm just under like a comforter, I feel like fucking like homeless okay you know what i That's hate? take yeah. what? you have two blankets so then like they always like move around from each other if they're not tucked in right so then if one's moving then now underneath me or my legs it bunches up this is where now this That's is getting into my debate because i am a fucking fidgety ass sleeper and i move around a lot and majority of the time when i'm waking up that sheets at my fucking feet it's not even on me so like so when i I started realizing every day i'm like growing up i'm like wow this sheet is just at my feet every time so (laughs) if i just go under the comforter take off the sheet i'm waking up way easier you know it's just the comforter's on me that's all it's not ruining my sleep i never used a sheet that's weird though that's fair like that does happen all the time the thing is too like the texture of the sheet is a lot nicer than the texture of like the comforter mostly. Depends no, on I the would comforter. have a, I would have it a depends, fl- th- those uh, like fluffy blankets. Mm. So that like is so soft. You, you like that shit, eh? In the winter Sometimes. time though, I'll go like sheet, blanket, and then comforter over top. That's insane. Like an like that's a, fucking insane to me. Like a fur three blanket? layers. Like a yeah, just like a regular kind of blanket. Mm. It's fucking cold, man. That's three layers though. Dude, Dude, it gets cold in the sometimes, winter. Sometimes, bro, in my house too, because my house is fucking cold as shit sometimes. But I like it. But I'll do two comforters. Wow. Whoa. The two I, comforters, bro, is like so bro, comfy. I feel like it's Especially like a little like, excessive, though, man. That's a lot. Dude, I love when my bed's like freezing cold, and I love like a heavy blanket. So like the two makes it like. Oh. Why don't and you just like buy like, one heavy hot, weighted one? Off, You're a double comforter guy. A weighted, I would love a weighted. Bro, blanket. I hate that shit. I my hate light one, blankets, and it literally has weight in it. 
Yeah, it's sick. That's I nice. Don't like it. it I don't like your it. sleep it a lot. It is kind of nice. Not gonna lie, yeah. I would love a weighted blanket. Bro, weighted blanket, Might no show. for Christmas. Invest in your sleep, man. It's the number one thing in the world. You sleep for eight hours a day, so That's, yeah. invest. That was some motivational shit right there. Gary Vee has said that, and you've seen. I don't watch Gary Vee. Word. Okay, that's show. But a weighted blanket, no sheet, bomb. That that is the Wait, best sleep. I what do you mean, get. no sheet? Like you no, I'm not under sheet. that sheet there. Like I'm not going. Still under put the sheet. Wait, do you put the sheet on the bed though, or do you just like leave it? Dude, sometimes. Like going up my house, I would fu- sheets fucking gone, bro. <laughs> yeah, like what's the point of putting it on the bed if it's yeah sheets not gone? Use it. Sheets yeah. fucking gone, just comforter, bro. Okay, good. Just com- yeah, yeah. That's I, what I would do, dude. Sometimes in the summer, growing up, man, when the summers were really fucking hot, I would have my I would be sweating my clog off, bro. I would take both fucking off, and I'm just like nothing's covering me. I'm just I fuck- cannot sleep without a blanket yeah. on, bro. I like. I'll take the comforter off and then just sleep with the sheet. That's no. where it comes in handy too. And like, too, if yeah. it's really hot in the summer, yeah, my fucking parents are being cheap about the AC and shit. Mm-hmm. They'll, I'll be fucking hot as shit, and then I'll only sleep with the sheet. That's fair. I, I do, do that, that all. That's the time. when I do that. I'll I need do... something on no. top of me. I yeah, literally same. cannot I sleep. I feel with naked, bro. If I if I have nothing on top of me, same. No, I'll I rip cannot. both off. I can't. If sleep. I'm hot, I'm ripping both off. If I'm fucking freezing. Just a comfy. I you do not feel safe without a blanket. Me too, bro. Straight up, it's so like. Fuck, you're no. weird, man. No, you're wild. It's just the hot summers, man. When it was, f- I remember like yeah, yeah, sweating yeah. We get it. We my get it. cock off. It was bad. Um, okay, here's a good one, and we're gonna start with Steph. Winning the lottery or finding your soulmate? Um, chose winning the lottery. Makes I have sense. Faith, I'm gonna. I have faith. I'm gonna make money too, but I have faith. I'm gonna find my soulmate. Like, I don't doubt that I'm gonna find it. No, it's more so just the two option, like lottery money. Soulmate, click one. What do you want? It's it's. Well, you can still find his soulmate, but yeah, I'm just saying it's, it's like not being handed to him. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Like, what are the odds of you actually finding your soulmate in life? Like, majority of people don't marry their soulmate. You know what well, I mean? It's just convenience. Like we said, I think there's a certain amount of people that could be your soulmate. Yeah, our soulmate's even real. I don't know. Exactly. That's what I'm trying to think. Like, there's. I don't think mm-hmm. there's a person that like is perfect for you. Or really, I think you just there's got to be. Let's let's hope so. There's like. Seven billion no, no, I just, in the world. Uh, maybe that came out wrong. It, <laughs> you would take the cash. cash. Uh, yeah. Yeah. How much cash? It's cold-hearted, man. I don't know. What's the minimum amount that you would take over your soulmate? Oh, that's a good one. Hundred million plus. That's a oh, lot. That's, that's a, a big ass lottery, nice bro. Lottery. That's a big lottery. I'm thinking about these big lotteries that you hear. The Powerball. Yeah. Powerball. Yeah. Okay, well, let's go, let's go Canadian about... lottery though. Okay. It, it caps at seventy million, but it's and it starts at like five ish. Yeah, like I'm not. Wait, the min that you would take is a hundred? Yeah, well, I honestly, that's so honestly if, what pops into my head. So ten or ten or a soulmate, you'd take the soulmate, probably. So fifty soulmate. I said a hundred mil. Damn. Yeah. Would you take ten million dollars or your soulmate? I just said that. He just asked. You, that. Oh, you just asked that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 it's still hundred. That's fucked, dude. Yeah, hey, I mean that's like the Powerball, right? Isn't that like how that? Bro, the Powerball is just a billion dollars. Yeah. Two yeah. billion. Two bill. Yeah, it's fucked. Yeah, what I would you do uh, soulmate. Why? Because I feel like everyone says that there's a certain point in life with like money wise where it doesn't get you any more happiness. So I feel like I can get to that point by myself. And then if I can get like that next part of happiness, your soulmate just gifted to me and not have to work for it. Then like, <sighs> I feel like that's a lot harder to do than like getting to that point in money. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I think yeah. that's fair. What about you, Change? I mean, Mac, <laughs> fuck, my bad, bro. Just- uh, I take soulmate because I think money comes and goes, but like finding a soulmate is like priceless. What a f- wow. what Mac a fucking, fucking line. straight up, dude. It's Mac priceless. had that line ready to go. I, 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 I did. Like, it's true though. Like if you find like the person that you want to spend the rest of, rest of your life with, it's undefeated. You, there's no better feeling because like. You can have infinite amount of money, but like, and n- nobody to spend it with. Like, you're not gonna be happy. You're gonna yeah. get bored eventually, and people are just gonna be leeching on you and being fake and stuff like that. But like, how does it work though? Do you guys like? There's a girl like you're married. <laughs> like, no, I I would rather yes. be poor and happily <laughs> so, like, married than be rich as fuck and be alone. Doesn't it like ma- also make sense that like going on the dates, meeting up with them is like part of like what makes them your connection? Okay, at least then just like, I get to like maybe get their number. Or like, and I could just do the rest of it. But you know this is your soulmate. You know it. Well, you know it, but maybe she doesn't know it. And you Mm. still have to like still win her over. That's kind of weird. That would be so fun. (laughs) That would be sick. That would be (laughs) a fun. After the first date, you're like, yo, find me my soulmate and can we make a video about this? I would would love just like try to get her. 
I should fucking that's a good video. Write right? a bunch of shit down that I like look for in a girl, and you guys try to find the perfect one, and all, and then, and then you just like give me her number, and I have to like try to figure it out. Okay. I mean, I think we're gonna make <laughs> a good know. video concept of it. Yeah, what? we can go to the drawing board. I'm dust. Think of something. No. <laughs> <laughs> what do we just go to West Virginia? I don't understand. Oh <laughs> my god, oh, West Virginia. Dude. I don't understand. <laughs> we can. We can. I maybe, mean, maybe. Maybe that's where I'm soulmate. starting right now. I mean, that's maybe she's my soulmate. We don't know. Never know. Who's she? Yeah, like Who chance. is she? Who is she? You literally could already have it. Now you just get more money. Like more, the, take the lottery ticket. Take the lottery. Oh, take Since the chances. You're that saying she's I already soulmate. found my soulmate. I'm. I don't know. I'm saying Risk you could have. Uh, saying take I the chances. I haven't fucking like on a date, bro. <laughs> exactly, and you're still this hooked on her. <laughs> so think about when you do go on that date. Yeah, but maybe well, you're just building up expectations, though. Yeah, dude. Oh, and, head, and then when he finally goes on the date, it's like, oh. Oh, fuck. Damn, it's like me for the old miss. Oh, shit. You know what I mean? I'm not talking about my fucking relationship. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry. Okay, no, that's okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> I would go for myself. I'm going, I'm also going soulmate. I think, I think money-wise, you know, even if I'm not, you know, fucking millionaire or whatever, I think finding true happiness and joy and love with someone is like god's greatest gift on like why we're on this planet i think that's how you're meant to you're supposed to live your life finding that person like your true soulmate that you genuinely have a connection with and i would take that over money any day but i do get where you're going with i just with have faith that i'll like fi- you're confident in your wrist too. you're confident in your wrist yeah <laughs> that makes sense yeah, yeah I like right now i mean we all, we're all confident we'll probably find a soulmate right uh, never know. <laughs> I mean, I've come <laughs> on here and said I don't know Shit. if I'm gonna get married, man. I, I mean, yeah, I've, I've said it to you boys before. I don't know. It's I don't hard. know. It's, it's, it's very hard. hard. Well, you don't. It's easier to make money. You have than faith it is that find, you will like, find your soulmate. Though. Facts. Also, but like to like in life, bro. Like it's your soulmate. Like, you don't even know. You won't even know if you found your soulmate probably for like ten years after marrying the person. That's what's so tough about it. <laughs> Like it's, it's, <laughs> just, it's proving our points here. That is true. Like you could get a that girl, a married to a girl that like you think is like your soulmate, and then like ten years into marriage, like you just fucking despise them now. Fifty. And now it's not your soulmate because oh, like 50, yeah, dude. I don't, that's, that's like my. How hard is it to like? Bro. We've known each other for like fucking twenty years, and it's like fifteen years, and like sometimes like now, it's and we're still like learning about each other. Like yeah. Matt, just just as friends, like let alone fucking living with that person. But like we having just, kids with the person like it's fucked we just now started though living together and i feel like when you actually like live together with somebody like you learn a lot more about like their little things because you see them at their like their, their worst moments their best moments yeah so that's why two years man it takes two years of living with someone mm-hmm. to truly understand everything yeah, about but them. then when what happens when you have kids different like there's that marriage is, is literally like like light like it's like turns left right and center mm. and like the way that girl deals with that may not be like the way like you would like deal with it or like it causes a problem that like just fuck dude just fuck i don't want to get into this shit again <laughs> i don't even want to get married anymore <laughs> i never did i mean yeah I whoa no I, I hope to find you know true be, love what happened day, we can get married no dude don't Ooh, touch who me hurt bro. you bro no i didn't get hurt you i didn't get hurt you good you sure was john you want to talk about it later no nope. all right well let's uh wrap it up here <laughs> thank you guys so much for listening if uh you haven't uh, seen the Arkansas video, go check it out on the main channel. Subscribe if you're not 50% or you're not subscribed. Appreciate you guys for listening. Anything else I need to plug at the end of this? Um, uh, Ole Miss. Tell, tell oh, no. Tell not Ole Miss. It was not Arkansas. It was Ole, Ole Miss. Because Miss. Arkansas, Arkansas hasn't come Thursday. out yet. Oh. It's Tuesday Go right watch now. Arkansas on Thursday. <laughs> Boom. It's Tuesday right now. Watch Ole Miss. F- watch Ole Miss if you haven't. There it is. In Ohio State, Michigan next week. Boom. If you guys are in right. Columbus, we're there coming back to Midway. We love you guys. See you next week. Peace out. Let's go, baby. Go blue. Cash money.